Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back if this is your second stream of the day with me, and if not, welcome. We're going to be continuing RimWorld. The last stream was um, exciting. You could That's one word you could use for it. Um, but yeah, um, one of our people got eaten by a, partially eaten by a saber-toothed cat, and everyone else is just having mental breakdowns, just everything's dirty, just... We're just in a bad way, so we'll see if Randy Random, the uh, storyteller that gives you random story events, will give us enough time to kind of recoup. Welcome back, 3Gs. Thank you. Thank you for spending some of your day with me. Uh, we're still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, as always. Well, at least for now, until something else comes up that needs other fundraising. They help pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention which helps not just strictly LGBTQ people. But I think it's primarily for them, but I'm sure they help other people as well. But yeah, fundraising. Ooh, sweet. Lurking is totally allowed, totally encouraged. Thanks for being here. But yeah, uh, I have a donation link button below the stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes. And when the, the stream comes up, I'll have a QR code you can scan if you want to donate that way. I don't get anything from it other than knowing that I'm helping to donate to them. So your support, one way or another, is greatly appreciated. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and pull up Steam. There you go. Let's load the game up, and we'll see how nice Randy wants to be to me, because he could just keep sending raid after raid at me, for all I know. <laughs> Let's see. There, ah. I might need to move this source a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I had a, I've been of a, I had a little bit of a snafu with my streaming stuff last night when I got home. Like it was just like not properly, like everything was just fucked. So I've have to, I had to kind of like remake my scene, like entirely, from scratch, kind of. All right, so I think that's fine now. Let's lock our sources, and pull the game back up when it wants to load. That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> And I think I was able to get the sound alerts working again as well. Or at least I, I'm able to hear them on my end, I believe. All right, RimWorld, come on. It's fine. We're cool, I think. <laughs> bit, bit of a beefy game. Like, not like graphically intense, there's just a lot going on. And it's loading all the mods I have, and it's loading, like, all the DLCs, and just all at once, it's... Eventually, eventually it'll get there, and then we'll be able to actually play. <laughs> so. But how's your morning going, 3Gs? Do you want to have good breakfast? Do you have some coffee? Do you have some tea? I know you're a tea, I know you're a tea drinker. Because I know you did, like, some sort of, like, I think you did, like, one of those advent calendar kind of things for teas, if I'm not mistaken. My memory is not, not always so good, but I try. <laughs> Jesus, come on, RimWorld. It's fine, I promise. Jeez. It's take, taking a hot minute to figure itself out. Let's see where. I don't know if I should like try to close it. No, it might be almost done. I see there's like two dots now instead of initialize. Oh, there it goes. It's still a little messed up. Might I might just have to make a new source for it because it's looking a little stinky still. Because that's almost certainly not like. <clears throat> yeah, let's make. I'm gonna make a new source for it real quick. We're already scuffed as it is. I might as well just properly make a source for it. Uh, 
game capture rim world capture specific window rim world by Ludeon Studios. All right, well, now we got to resize it <laughs> to the dimensions I have 1605. 950. Okay, and then we'll slap you right there and we'll drag you down kicking and screaming to where the other where the other uh, sources are. There we go. Good as new. It's like it it's like it never happened. I still have no idea what caused my uh stuff to mess up like all my all my scene stuff like it just kind of one thing I did do is I guess I left my PC, I left um, OBS open while I was at work and maybe one of the cats stepped on the keyboard and pressed like just the perfect button combination and just fuck everything up, so I'm not doing that ever again. <clears throat> Should've known my cats would sabotage me. Alright, yeah, we're in a bad way. Um, like, ladies traveling and on the way home. And Randy's like, oh, great, you got someone that's gone? Perfect time to strike. I think she is almost home, though. But yeah, like, Olabar is trying to recover. You're feeling stressed. We are able to beat you back, beat you down, and get you back to being in there. Because we're trying to recruit this person to replace uh, Lemur, who was the one that got... Um, chewed on and killed by the um, saber cat, but we're, we're all just having a bad time. <clears throat> like, her right little toe is destroyed by uh, Olabar, because Olabar went berserk. Because <laughs> we, like, this person went berserk in their cell. So I used Olabar to, you know, try to calm them down, but then he went berserk. <laughs> so we were just, just like a perfect storm of just nothing going right ever. This fucking warg is going to cause us some problems, isn't it? Uh. That's okay, lady should be like literally like about to enter back enter back to the map. Yep. The worst thing is we did this uh this caravan to um try to go buy some stuff, but then they just didn't have the stuff that we were looking for, so it was just uh kind of a waste of time. So now we just gotta hope that she's not gonna get like attacked by some predators on the map trying to get back in the base like I'm really worried about this fucking warg here uh, spring has begun starvation oh well after lady finishes offloading stuff so she's the only one that's like in good a good mood because she just wasn't here to get fucking bothered by all this Bullshit. Feed him. Because he's got to recover. Gen Genevieve needs to recover as well. It's just... Just a bad time for everybody. Like, we're just... It's <laughs> just, just a bad time. There's a fucking dead... Animal farmer guy. Uh, undo that. Huntsman's asleep. His needs are. Uh, he's. Yeah, he's still pretty sad about it, the whole wife dying thing and his friend, who's also his wife dying, and just. His mood should recover because of the catharsis, but that's not gonna last forever. No, but it might be long enough to kind of get some of this stuff to be a little better. Yeah, he, he's taking some 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 damage. And he needs to go get his recreation up so that 
This mood will be a little bit better. Minor break risk. Yep, yep. They're not doing so great. Yeah, he he um in his in his bloodlust, he went to go try to pick a fight with a cougar, and it uh beat the shit out of him. Thankfully, it didn't kill him. I think it's because it wasn't Manhunter. I'm not sure how it didn't get Manhunter by him attacking it, but... I don't know. I'm just glad that he's not dead, because we can't really afford to lose any more people. Couldn't really afford to lose anyone in the first place, but, you know. Sometimes, uh, life is just a lot of fun like that. Let's see, cooking. Uh, food poisoning chance, pretty low still, and it's still clean in here so i'm glad huntsman's still alive though because he's our cook and that would be a uh, nightmare if our cook like died send a word about cute animals to genevieve what are you doing oh you're gonna go prune your fucking tree He's obsessed with that damn thing. I'm going to have him just not do that because he needs to rest. Because he is just covered in just bruises and shit. I don't like this being here. Looks like it recently ate something. I don't know what. But it just kind of ate something recently. Re really, game? Randy's like, oh, you totally want to kill these things, right? And it's like, <laughs> no, I, I, I prefer to, like, be alive. Because these things will kill you the fuck dead if you bother them. And you are not uh, properly prepared to um, deal with them. They will just, they'll fucking... They're capable of, like, wiping a, a, a pretty early game base single-handedly they're not to be fucked with all right who's in the best man i think it's probably a lady but she's asleep um when she wakes up i'm gonna have her haul the the corpse to splash mountain oh great there's a cougar here too all, all these goddamn predators are just hanging out near my base and it's frustrating because they will attack my people Although I think I think with this uh, body here, the the predator animals might go after bodies preferably before corpses, but I don't really know. Okay, Genevieve's Genevieve didn't have that many bruises, uh, surprisingly. Like sh she wasn't like super hurt. Despite being very fragile, she, um, yeah, she, she got out of things relatively unscathed, because I was just quick enough to get her away. <laughs> I really wish this war would, well, I did want it to die, so, I mean, that makes things a little easier. Um, lady's got an axe. I really don't want to have her trying to fight a warg with an axe. That would be ill-advised. <laughs> okay, these little guys are squirting out more medicine. Good for them. He's gonna go rest. He's still on a night. He's still on the uh, the, the night owl schedule. He is on with a uh, lemur because she was a night owl. He's not, so he's frankly fine if he's just like awake who's Genevieve um, what what do you what are you complaining about your friend died everything's ugly there's it's dark <laughs> you're in pain you've seen corpses your sleep was disturbed you'll be fine your rival die I don't know who the hell that is I think that might be one of the corpses in here it's weird anyway she'll she'll be okay Ladies playing hoopstone, good old hoopstone. Little bars on the mend. How's this fucker doing? I haven't really been paying attention to her. She's got bruises, so she, none of that stuff's gonna. It's 
See, we were working on uh, reducing her resistance because we had actually converted her to our, uh, our, I guess, religion or whatever. I'll have you finish your hoopstone and then you'll go tend to this critter's stuff. Okay, you're doing that. What are you up to? You're repairing walls. You know what? That's fair. It's a pr pretty good idea. Just trying to be very cognizant of... I probably need to add little doors here and there everywhere so I can, like... Because that was the problem is, like, right around here is where Lemur got attacked by the Smilodon. And I think she was, like... Like, let me see. That's a... That's boar blood. I'm sure there's like some I'm sure there's still some blood around here from Lemur maybe, but yeah. Um She was like out here and she got kinda cut off and no one else is close enough, so she got very quickly taken down and then killed by the fucking saber cat. It's dangerous. It's dangerous living out here and this thing's bleeding out in seven hours because of the trap there. Okay. Diva's trying to do recruitment, which is good. S Genevieve's still just not having a great time. Uh, let's build some of these around the base a little bit more. Because the colonists aren't really a big fan of like running around in the darkness. Most of the time. They usually prefer to not be doing that. So we'll add a few lights here and there. One, two, three. I'll put one there too. Uh, we're probably gonna need to run some more lines around too. Let's go to power. Let's, we'll just run that line, and we're gonna need want to build another one of these as well. Thankfully, Genevieve is a, capable of being a good constructor because that was one of Lemur's major uh, things: is constructing. So it's gl we're gl we're lucky we found Genevieve before things got bad. Oh, psychic journey's ending. That'll make um, Huntsman and Olabar a little less sad. Where are you going? You're gonna go haul some herbal medicine. Yeah, we've got tons of that stuff because these little green critters just produce herbal medicine. I was afraid this cougar was gonna attack my little critter here, but now it's going after this boar. <clears throat> Wanna be a bad idea to actually make a little, um, like, remove this door and just, like, make, like, an enclosed little path from here over to this tree, because Olbar is very adamant about tending to this tree whenever humanly possible, so that's probably a good idea. Uh, how many... We have some bricks. Let's get rid of this, and we'll have to cut some more blocks soon. How's your health doing? Get a little better. Your stuff's recovering, and resistance will be reduced eventually. 
cool thing about this character is they are um, gen genetically induced, um, gen genetically disposed to needing psychite in their system to um, fully function. And what we're going to be doing with that is we're going to be growing like psychite. So we're going to be growing psychite leaves probably in like. We're not, gonna, we're not growing here anymore, no way in hell. Don't really need to. Let's turn on our fertility overlay so we can see. That, that's gonna be rice. That doesn't need to be rice anymore. That's for that. That's rice down there. Uh... Plant some, we'll plant corn in this one. Because corn is a... It takes a while to grow, but it gives you a high yield. So, it's worth it in the long run to kind of do that. And then this one will grow... I mean, we've got plenty of uh, rice right now. So, for, I think for now we're going to... And this will end up growing Psychite, wherever it is. I think it's further down here, yeah. We can grow a sm we can grow a weed, <laughs> basically smoke leaf. I think we'll we'll first start trying to do a thing of psychite, because then we can make psychite tea, and that can be a way for our new part our party member, our new colonist, to manage her psychite dependency pretty cheaply. And then eventually we can use the rest of the psychoid leaves, leaves to make drugs and sell and sell them. And so that's that. Uh, we're gonna plant some more cotton in this spot. Because cotton's useful to have. <clears throat> Lady's gonna go smoke a blunt. <laughs> uh I need to change this. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> smoke a blunt. Ladies like, time to smoke a blunt. <laughs> I need to look at the wiki real quick to see the safe uh, minimum usage stuff for um, ex like safe minimum usage stuff for smoke leaf because there is like a like, like with the drugs in this game there's like a certain like amount of time between doses that you can do to like never get addicted but some things like like go juice probably and I would say Lucif well definitely Lucitherium because you take Lucitherium and you need to take it every once in a while you will just literally die. <laughs> um yeah Yayo is basically like <laughs> cocaine. And flake is kinda like crack. Flake is known for destroying lives, communities, and entire societies. Hell yeah. We love to see that. Uh, but let me look at the... Let me pull up the wiki real quick. Up oh, the window. It's kind of blanked out. See. Drug has two major types of effects. Effects happen once. Effects happen as long as the high is active, such as go deuces increase. Most drugs increase mood directly. Drugs come with multiple downsides. Even if you never order colonists to take a drug, having them in your colony allows access to drug binge mental break. Oh boy. 
Let's see. Beer, hard drugs, medical drugs, addiction. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Smoke leaf five. Hmm. There's, there's a lot of data here, but I um, I need to kind of just be told exactly how many days because I don't know if I can pres exactly just interpret that with my brain by itself. So let's see. Okay, addiction tolerance. So every two days I can do smoke leaf and it'll be completely safe. So, that, that, that means we, if we have um, smoke leaf, we can, every, every two days, let me see. Hmm. There's like a lot of just like the drug system in this game is just like a lot of depth. <laughs> Leaf. Yeah, so yeah, there's um Yeah, there's uh yeah. Drugs. Yay. <laughs> um I would almost say maybe um go juice would be like kind of heroin cuz it's like it's used by space marines to uh, block pain, increase movement speed, improve users' melee and shooting abilities. And um, it's it, it's disgustingly addictive. Like you take it once, and you might just get addicted instantly. Uh, let me look at mood levels and kind of figure out what, what the best dosage would be for this. You're at 59, 40, 56. Uh, let's say below 40 mood. That sounds like a good place to put it. <clears throat> yeah, 40. Uh, every two days, only if their mood is below 40. <clears throat> Social drugs. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from beer. Um, I think Psychite T has the same um, has the same things as Smoke Leaf. The only difference is that we have we have a person we're trying to recruit that medically needs Psychite in their system to survive long term. Um, you act, that's actually a very possible thing. You can, you can do a lot of really just unnice things in this game. Like, you can, like, capture people and, like, take, like, basically strip them for parts. Like, take out organs and sell them on the black market. <laughs> While growing drugs. Yeah, it can be a pretty nasty colony if you really want to be. I mean, I don't really have any qualms with the drugs part, because whatever. That's, that, them's just the breaks. You gotta make money somehow, and growing your own drugs is pretty easy, because there's not, like, seeds or anything, so you don't have to, like, do any of that garbage like that, but... <clears throat> yeah, this game, there's a lot, this game has a lot of room for just utter chaos to happen. I told a joke about dinner. What are you, a fucking YouTube poop from, like, the 2000s? dinner <laughs> and lady is now just fucking stoned 
should get a get an extra 13 mood for just being high as fuck. <laughs> I'm frankly surprised he hasn't done any yet either. Frankly, I probably just might force him to. Yeah, his mood's low enough anyway. He's probably gonna just go grab one. Yep, <laughs> he's just smoking it right in the storeroom. <laughs> So we might, mm. let's grow some smoke leaf here. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, I probably should, actually. Let me look at my uh, sound thingies. I might be able to just find something for that. Let me, Let's see if this is the right one. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Um, I want one that's a little shorter than that. Um, smoke weed every day. I don't think they're any different, so I'll just, I guess, I'll just kind of grab. Grab this one, uh, no bits, and we'll just add that sound button. <laughs> uh, there we go. It is done. <laughs> yeah, we're going to grow some smoke leaf because that can just directly imp impact our colony's uh, survival. As silly as that sounds, me saying their survival, but like... Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. Well, we're gonna do psychoid here. We'll shrink this a little bit and expand this out for the smoke leaf. So that we can just kind of grow a bunch of it. <clears throat> as it is, I think those uh, a lot, a lot. We have some joints, but we, those come with the raiders usually, because a lot of them are the uh, are like the furry people. Like, let me see where they are. It's like these guys, um, the Yitkin or Yitikin or whatever they are. Yeah, these guys, the Yitikins, they have like the war cry, furry people. And this is a Splash Mountain where we keep all the uh, corpses. And this is Splash Mountain 2 <clears throat> where we can keep more corpses. We can store a total of 30 corpses in the water here so that they decay and aren't invisible view of our, you know, life. Because people don't really like seeing corpses very much. Okay, what's Huntsman up to? He's just hauling a bunch of he's just hauling a bunch of stuff. He's he's moving a little slow cuz he's high. And he can he can't carry quite as much stuff cuz he's also high cuz you're um Yeah. Uh consciousness is affected um by 30%, <laughs> which I I think that affects um manipulation. Which affects how you like do like tasks. So he's only able to carry 64% of what he normally could at 100%. So it's just like, whoa, look at all this wood, man. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make more of these, um, shelves because they're very very helpful for um storing just stuff and let's clear this one and allow only uh weapons on this shelf oh, how was <laughs> he said wood And then when Genevieve gets up, she'll work on building some of these lights and these power cables and then this new shelf for storing just weapons on. 
need warm clothes. The temperature is going to reach 12 degrees Celsius. Negative 12 degrees, mind me. Put one there. It'll probably be fine. Yeah, this place doubles as not only our, like, ideology room, but it's, um, Lemur's tomb. <laughs> Which is fine, because that means that she, they can visit her whenever they want. Okay. They're just both... The Lemur cult! I wish I could... I, I probably could with, like, some, uh, like... Some like debug menu stuff, but I probably could I probably could have named the uh, renamed the I our ideology like cult the cult of lemur or something like because normally you're not able to edit this stuff unless you specifically choose a um, option to where like your ideology kind of grows with your colony like you have to like earn certain points to get change stuff. But I just picked an ideology that is similar to classic room, like classic room worlds, like kind of how they handled like reacting to certain events. Like they don't like seeing bodies, and they don't like executing guilt, uh, innocent prisoners, and stuff like that. Like generally, pretty decent humans for the most part. Okay, what's Genevieve doing next? Just more, more stuff. I have it set to where if we run him below a certain amount of meals, he'll just make some more. He's, I think he's still, I think he's still high. He's just, he's just cooking some, just cooking some food while he's high. So he's a little slow. That's okay. We're just kind of still on the mend, waiting to, um. Oh yeah, she got bit by the smile dawn on the leg. I, did she ever just never heal that? He has the munchies. He's gonna have the fucking munchies. I might have to wait till, till she wakes up to try having herself tend herself. Needs Doritos and Mountain Dew. <laughs> I mean, we got we got Doritos. Well, not exactly Doritos. I see. There's a bear. There's a raccoon. There's a tortoise that died to malnutrition. It looks like. Uh, there's a wild boar that was killed by a cougar, and then there's this fucking scorpion with Alzheimer's that was hanging around near our base. <laughs> Uh, it was it was a turtle that tamed itself, but like it kind of like I think it might have got untamed at some point. Yeah, it died of malnutrition because it got too cold out, and I just just wouldn't eat food, and that's in here, I guess. So I didn't I didn't kill it. the The game killed it, kind of. Like I didn't go out of my way to kill that tortoise. <laughs> I was pretty indifferent to it, all things considered. Um. Yeah, we'll run a line over here too. Yeah. These little power these little uh light bulbs are They draw twenty watts a piece. It's pretty cheap. All considered. He was so young! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how old was this turtle? It's gonna sh it's gonna tell us the age of the tortoise when it died. Um, no, it, it not anymore. I think previously while I was still alive, we probably could have seen how old it is. Like, if, let's see. We look at this uh, medicine maker here. Uh, let me see. Medicine maker dryad. Hmm, 
Its life expectancy is 80 years old. That's a that's a pretty high life expectancy for such a little critter. But I don't know if I can. Oh, I can just kind of see over here. This Dirat is 57 days old. We put J. We put Jade in here. Um, well, we've got some bodies, <laughs> so I can only imagine very fun things. You know, like maybe a maybe a spot of necromancy. Okay, I'm gonna let him get up and do something to, for recreation's sake, cause he's he's healing up pretty well. That's an eternal mood. I totally understand that one. <laughs> We'll also have this be weapons, just so we can kind of... Tech problems don't help either, yeah, unfortunate. There we go, we'll have... We're building these uh, these shelves out of bones, because as you see, we have a few bones from like all just the animals we've had to like kind of hunt. So what are we researching? Drug production, perfect. Interacted to recently. Resistance is down to 21.6, so it'll take a bit to kind of get handled. You're, he's just pruning his tree all ha as happy at need more drugs. Well, in another few days, it should be growing season and Olivar will be planting all of this stuff. What's the lady up to? Are you, oh, you're hauling chunks. All right, that's fine. We are gonna need to make some more bricks. Consuming the fine meal. Hauling auto pistol. All right, we got, um, is it advanced lights I was looking at? Change the color of standard electric lamps and reduce their power consumption by half. Actually, that's super good because that means we can put even more lights around the base. Uh, let's. What? Oh, probably because there's no power. Let's fix that. More power. Oh, you're, that's because you're connected to that. I have this little thing here so that I can toggle the um, the stove on and off as necessary for power concerns like if i'm like right now i might do it now actually like if you click uh, reconnect it'll, it'll switch like what is connected where if there's more than one option and i have this little power condo in the wall here to where if i want this off i can just kind of turn it off myself instead of having them run all the way over here to turn it off manually i can just do it pretty much instantly okay that's looking nice in there this is still just a fucking pigsty Oh, hey, we got a, uh, I didn't know there was a steam vent here. That's very good, actually. We can research a generator to go on top of that. It's all these. If y'all are desperate for something to do. We can also haul this um, wild boar inside. Where's the warg? I know there's a warg. There was, there you are. This warg climbed on one of our traps like a fool and bled everywhere. Yeah, since we have a freezer in here with these um, coolers, it is is more or less almost always like minus ten in this room here, so all these all these animals stay nice and chit nice and frosty. And so does all this food stuff too. What you doing, huntsman? Are you gonna go hold the boar? Okay. Well, it seems like we're kind of stabilizing a little now, except uh, Huntsman's not in a great mood. Because he's still sad about the whole wife dying thing. That's like minus 30, like, I am alone. <laughs> kind of just have to wait for his stuff to kind of... 
peter out a little because it's like they're not doing great the minus 30 is super detrimental to his mood there's not much we can really do about it something we could try as counsel but that might end up backfiring <laughs> on um on us but we could try it because if we do counsel and it works it could get rid of like this minus 20 which would be massive but i've tried it several times and it just has not worked yeah see it, it didn't work and huntsman's just now a little more up upset Been directly insulted. What an awful person. <laughs> Obra tried to counsel Huntsman, but botched the attempt and made things worse. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Now he's going to be in a, a slightly worse mood than he already was. I really need somebody that's better at social than him. Like, ideally it would be freaking her because she actually has the... Capacity to gain social skill pretty decently, among other things. So, at some point when we're a bit more stable, we're probably gonna try to switch her to being the um, what's his what's this dude's role again? Uh, he's like the um, the Abbot of Borabrin. Yeah, that that total that thing that's totally real. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Huntsman's just not in a good mood at all. Somehow that attempt had made at, at helping made things even worse. Yeah. In a few days it'll get a little better and he'll probably be more stable. Because this will go away, but mm, it's still just rough. Yeah, we know. It's fine. What's all of our doing? Hoopstone, after that, let's get him to make some granite. After he gets his recreation up. Yeah, he's just going in and out of like, terrible mood constantly. Like he's, it, it's just bad. And major break risks can be dangerous. Cause like there's def there's like different levels of like of like break risks. Depending on how low their mood is, someone who has a mental break may have a minor break like hiding in the room, or major break like going on a murder spree. <laughs> yeah, it can get pretty uh pretty bad. Oh yeah, he's still like pretty damaged, so his, his stuff is just a little slower. All right, go go clip a go clip a club for um, reasons in case somebody gets in a bit grumpy. Might have to smack him around a little bit. What's he even doing? Oh, he's hauling more wood. You need to go to bed now. Help his stuff recover. Bless you for just working through it, dude. Like, he's just in, like, the worst, like, the worst time of his fucking life. And we got these random people visiting. I don't know where they're going, or I don't know, maybe they're just passing through. Looks like it. Where, where are you going, Huntsman? More wood? Oh, you're grabbing a, a chunk there. What you doing, lady? What you doing, lady, you fucking lesbian <laughs> it's 
space lesbian. <laughs> He's bi. Let's see. What about you, Olabar? Olabar is gay. Huntsman is bi. Lady's a lesbian, and Genevieve is also bi. <laughs> Transport pod crash. A sheriff named Squire is crashing in a transport pod nearby. Well, let's see how you are. 69 years old. As nice as that is. Hmm. I am disliked Xenotype. I'm a baseliner. I'm not one of the good types. Ugh, that's grody. High army. For an eternity, there was a world of blue clay until Al Alim created the pla planets and stars. The faithful fought the unbelievers, and Al Alim said, Fight them everywhere in my name until I am worshipped throughout the universe and the true peace may finally reign. Looking upon mankind, Al Alim found them as children and declared her, her dominion over them. They like slavery, and it's required to uh, execute prisoners regularly to, for people to be happy. Yeah, they're a little fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that sounds about right. <laughs> um, you're very good at fighting, and you're very good at social, but that age just really bothers me because that just means that they're very likely to get stuff like they're a lot more likely to get um stuff like um uh, Alzheimer's and cataracts, and it can just get really bad really quick with someone that's just much older. In this game because like life like let's see life expectancy oh yeah you can make you get human there's human leather in this game we'll just uh say that there's uh human leather and you can make clothes out of it and uh yeah um 80 years old so yeah it's pretty pretty old we're probably not gonna rescue vorsa here unfortunately just we're already dealing with trying to recover and we're trying to recruit this diva Fucking diva. Of course, that'd be her fucking name. <laughs> tortured, tortured artist. Hideous environment. Genetic chemical dependency. I need psychic because of my genetic deficiency, but it's been so long since I've had any. Ratty apparel. Slept in the cold. T darkness. Yeah, that's the, the only bad thing really about this character is that they are a tortured artist, a gay tortured artist. Oh no, mobile time. Well, thank you for uh, deciding to spend some uh, time hanging out today. I appreciate that. Yeah, the only bad thing about this colonist is the torture artist thing is a permanent minus eight. But if she has a mental break and recovers from it, she has a good chance to get a creative inspiration. But the thing is, she's not very good at creative because... Um, because of her genes, she gets minus four <laughs> to artistry. Although she could learn it really fast, so she might end up being a good artistry anyway. She's also psychically hypersensitive, so she'd be really good to um, make a psy caster. Let's see, we have a little bit more. No acting for you. Not allowed. Capitalism is like, fuck you. <laughs> no arting either. No art allowed. Uh, what's Olabar up to? He's prone. He's he's prone in his tree. We might as well just let him do it.
She's researching. I want her to kind of focus on getting some blocks made, though, so we can build. A forester from Eastern Veristan is passing by. His name is Ernesto Summers. Ernesto! I'll have her break some blocks for a while. Because then I can make a little uh, corridor right here. Connecting this area up to here so it can be a lot safer. I think Olobar kind of got that out of us. He's he's smoking the weed. So what what are you what are you bummed out about? <clears throat> His expectations are a little higher <clears throat> because of being the abbot of Bora Bryn, which is fine. Oh, he's still in a lot of pain. That'll go away before long because he's just mostly just bruised at this point. So his moon will improve soon. Plus, he's, he's allowed to sm have a little bit of a weed. A different one? Okay, Squire's not a problem. A, a, psychi a, psychi a psychiatric patient named Gummy. If he survives, Gummy's from your enemy. A Pugmoil Pact. Which I think means he's probably going to be like one of the piggy pe people. He's a little piggy. Pigskin. Pigskins are human-pig hybrids which are capable of two-leg movement, tool use, and speech, but which also retain many pig-like qualities. They are hardy and can eat almost anything without getting sick, but their trotter-shaped hands leave them at a disadvantage when attempting to precisely manipulate tools and objects. They don't see well at a distance, so pigskin gangs usually focus on close-range weapons. They also have a strong taste for explosives. <laughs> Pigskins were made for their organs. Uncomfortable with the idea of harvesting organs from baseline or humans, a long gone government merged human DNA into pigs to make the animals produce more easily transplantable hearts and lungs. They succeeded, but the resulting creatures became more human like than anyone anticipated. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, you're a little fucked up, aren't you? Um, you're not able to fight. Unfortunately, that and plus being a pyromaniac is a fucking no-go, so sorry. Sorry, Gummy, you're gonna be mulch. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Jenny. Might as well have her finish this off. After that, she'll probably end up just like, going to bed because there's no more blocks for her to break. Yep, she's gonna go eat and then probably go to sleep. Alright, what are you up to? M more wood. I'm gonna build some more uh, shelves just because it's nice having shelves for this stuff. Like, we'll have two of them for clothing now. Clear all, and then let's go to apparel. And we'll copy settings, and we'll paste the settings there. And then whenever Genevieve gets up again, she'll be able to. 
Well, your social's not great, but it's better to have somebody trying to do something rather than just not anything at all. Eh, not much of a boost. And he's just not doing great. Been directly insulted. Can't see where. <laughs> it's most likely that Huntsman would probably try to try to hook up with Genevieve at some point. They're the most probably compatible, it seems like. So, it'll probably happen eventually. But for now, he's gotta get over Lemur. Rip in peace. I was fond of Lemur. She's a very, very hard worker. Oh, it's planting time. He's planting the psychoid. N don't. No. Stay in here and Are not able to play the, the temperature uh, the temperature changed again yeah well I guess I should let him go play with, play with the fucking tree like he wants to he's just out here wandering donkey donkey's eating some heel root good for you donkey Huntsman tried to romance Genevieve by describing her as a breathtaking river. Genevieve turned away. You'll probably just keep making passes at her and it eventually might work. Who knows? I'm not really that concerned. Uh, let me go back to work um, Warden we need to have Her be the warden instead I think I had to temporarily make him a warden so that we could do some deuce things Like capture people or capture someone or something like that cuz like It was a bad time we were like in dire straits Little bar reached level 15 in plants Good on you, buddy. I just noticed there's this cook. Oh, well, it is recently eaten, so it's fine. But uh, at some point in the near future, that cougar is probably going to become a problem. Oh, that's a mistake. Um. I need to have this turned on so that um, Huntsman can cook when he gets up because, yeah, we've not been cooking. A group from the Grey Mule Branya are visiting the colony. Great for them. Okay, he's doing a night, taking a nice nap. Okay, now he's just got a, a cougar bite on his right leg. To look. A vicious nip in the leg. I mean, he's back. He's back awake and cooking, which is good because we had just ran out of food. We got a lot of. We have a lot of meat and a lot of stuff here. So I'm not I'm not I'm less concerned about planting like vegetables so to speak like grain. We will be planting um 
corn down there, though. He plants really fast. Wait. I wish you would, like, make him come back and do that after he's, like, sitting here at this, uh... Uh, I guess thanks for the uranium question mark. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how about you do some plant in there, buddy? I, I really would like you to do that, please, and thank you. We're gonna change your schedule real quick so you just kind of work. Because I need you to get the stuff planted. He still got plenty of uh, energy, so he should be able to plant all this stuff pretty quickly without much problem. Quest available, the suicidal monkeys. <laughs> Abinia Galtau, a consul of the Broken Empire, recently lost a scouting party to a pack of nine man-hunting monkeys. She wants to draw the beasts towards you to be killed, to uphold her honor. The monkeys will arrive at Catasbia seven hours after you accept. <laughs> I mean, it's good, st good uh, rewards. Especially, this would be great, because this is, like, the highest tier medicine, but, mm. but I'm gonna have him go inside and eat at the table, because otherwise he's gonna make himself uh, upset. We'll lock this back just so he doesn't get any funny ideas of not planting things. It's like you're gonna plant, you're gonna plant crops, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> who's 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 upset? Huntsman? Yeah, yeah, buddy, I know. I know, bud. You're just gonna have to make do for now. He's just not having a very good time. Okay, planting all this corn. Yep, I know. And yeah, Huntsman is, should be going to sleep pretty soon, I would imagine. Okay, and then we'll change his schedule back to being like everyone else's. Losing my mind. <laughs> Picking the wrong shit. There we go. Alright. All of our stuff is planted. And Huntsman is lighting one up. That will keep his mood stable. In two hours, he's going to forget that his friend Lemur died. <laughs> there is it is pretty nasty in here though.
Okay, we're gonna... Get rid of these trees here. this door to go. I want to make a little tunnel going from here to here. So that's a lot safer for Olivar just to kind of go out here whenever he wants to, to do this. Okay, do I want to make this one more long? Probably not a bad idea to do that. Hmm, indeed. So we gotta have a door there. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be something like that. And then we'd have doors here. And probably a little service tunnel there as well. As as people can get in and out like with these tunnels like this. Yeah, it's probably in our best interest just to construct this last, last bit like I have the others set up. Totally fine. Thanks for being here. Thanks for lurking. We're actually going to move this wall up some more. I think. Mm. Actually, no. We can do this. Lady told Diva, Lady, stop hit, stop hitting on the prisoner. That's rude. I mean, it's they're both gay, so I mean, <laughs> gay prison warden and gay prisoner. What will they do? Uh, <laughs> I think we might just make this a prison in general. Like a permanent kind of like prison. I can't remember what I was doing here. Cause I was eventually I was gonna make this like a, a big hospital. Maybe I maybe I still should. Yeah, I have, I have a plan on what to do. We're 
We're basically going to make this, like, have a lot of doors to have to get through to get out so that less problems happen like last time because they broke, like, one door and then they were out here causing problems. But if we have, like, this door and then, like, a few more, like, they have to get through, then maybe they'll be less problematic. But Genevieve is building as quick as she can. I'm looking at you, fucking cougar. Oh, great. She's gone berserk again. <laughs> the last straw was tortured artist. You son of a bitch. Right now she's just kind of wandering around, trying to trying to melee attack a boom rat. Uh, oh, bar buddy, I'm gonna need you to wake up. We've got some uh, we've got some business to handle, cause he's pretty good at melee, and this club shouldn't do much more than bruise them unless Olabar just gets a little ornery, I guess. Um. Lady's also good at um, melee, decent at melee, but Olbar's better. <laughs> He's like still asleep but holding the club in his hands, like I got the club. Uh, you you probably should too. Sorry, not sorry. You're 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 losing your shit. We're gonna have to um help you find it. Olbar reached level eight in melee. Nope. Oh. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Bonk. 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 Oh, well that's not great. Got him. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Damn, that's a hit. Olbar pretty fucking hard. Oh, yeah, you all ding d dinged up. That's why, well, I'm glad I decided to have more than one person kind of be there. Alright, you get back in bed, you fucker. Rescue Olabar. Dumbass. <laughs> oh, you got... Slightly bruised, and he's... Genevieve's just been busy as shit. Wait, why is this, uh, oh, it's a bite scar. I was like, wait, what the hell happened? Why is that still there? Um, yeah, that, uh, slows her down a little bit. Because she just has like a bite scar on her left leg. Now, eventually, we can make some bionic body parts. How about you fit? How you, you work on this prison thing? Uh, this, uh, that prison, this prison idea. Uh, 
how about you finish doing what I told you to do, please, and thank you. Yeah, the idea is to have just a bunch of wood doors like this so that they um, will very likely take a long time breaking out. Now, if you'd stop just going berserk, that'd be great, thanks. He's just happy as a little, happy as a little clam over here playing with this tree. Rebuffed by Genevieve. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did we pick up the the uranium? Probably, I don't know where it is. Hmm. Is it over here? Where? I know they left like right here, but they like somebody take it or something. I don't see it. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, uranium can make some really good weapons, like like really heavy maces and the like, but... My wife is dead. I am alone. <laughs> Uh, I think for now we're gonna switch everyone back to uh we'll switch him back to a normal schedule, which means he'll probably go to sleep like immediately. Which is fine. I think I'd rather have them all awake at the same time. Roughly. Blood of Diva. <laughs> okay, keep your building. I know that cougar's around here somewhere. I'm just cautious about it jumping on one of our people. Lady is fully healed. Good for her. She's. Doing that. Oh, hey, lady got to level up in social. Donkeys join. <laughs> Where? Did, did it join and then leave? <laughs> I mean, they did give us a uh, breeding pair. We're just going to have to go wrangle them. I don't think anyone's good with animals. So I don't know if we can even really tame them. What about you? Are you good with animals, Diva? No, you're not. <laughs> you're not really good with anything, but that's fine. We just need the body more than anything. Um, Can you go wrangle the, don the donkeys? You're about to. <laughs> Where is handling? Hmm. <laughs> Handle right here. Uh. Hmm. 
The game decided we needed some donkeys, I guess. Good thing is that they'll eat all this uh, hay grass we have here if they're hungry. Alright, so donkeys can't guard do any of this stuff, but they can be uh, tamed. I don't know what or what minimum taming thing they need. Let me see. Let me find that out, and that will determine on what we can do with these. Because we might just have to hold on to them and then butcher them at some point if we can't keep them actually tamed. Pack animal, yes, that would be very good. Let's see... Life expectancy 24, it's surprisingly high. Grass to maintain 5.2. Adult meat amount, bone amount, body size. Oh! You don't need any certain skill level to tame donkeys, so we'll be able to maintain them with just anyone that is able to do animal handling, which is, I think, just about everyone, really. So that's cool. So we've got two, so we've got a breeding pair, and they can make more donkeys, and we can either sell those or use them for meat, etc. Except where'd, where'd that fucking cougar go? Last time I lost, last time I lost sight of an animal like that, that's when the smile on just fucking killed a uh, lemur so I'm trying to be a little bit more proactive these fucking bastards big cat bastards uh, it's okay I guess the I guess the uh, cougar left the map hmm Timberwolf, I will. <laughs> as long as our moods don't get too low, where we get like chain reaction, like um, mental breaks, we should be able to keep stabilizing and stay. Excellent. Do we need more bricks? I guess we do. Um. Set these to haul as well, and yeah, I, I build a lot of things out of granite. Advanced lights, light consumption is going to be reduced by half, which is nice. Uh, so let's see. Next up. see what else would be most beneficial for us to to get here Frankly, uh, geothermal power wouldn't be bad, but microelectronics is how you kind of progress further down your tech tree. Uh, let's let's do geothermal power though.
He's hungry. Can he not get up himself? No, he can. He's just laying there complaining. I'm so hungry. Oh, God. Well. He's, ha he's on a food binge because he's depressed. The final straw was, my wife lemur died. Thanks, donkeys. Like, it sucks that he's got, like, a food binge kind of deal going, but, like, he's the one that makes the food. So, if any if anyone's entitled to do that, it's probably him. I really would like her to actually finish these walls, admittedly. That'd be great. Like if, if she can at least, like, load up the, um, the wall bits here. And then tomorrow she should be able to finish the building of them. Yep, he's just having a good old nutritious time. He's either going to stop picking out or he's going to pass out and stop picking out. <laughs> one or one of two is going to happen. Okay, he's 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 uh, gotten over it. Which means he gets a nice plus 40 for uh, another um, 3 days. to keep him very in a much better mood <laughs> okay we got donkeys sleeping all of ours just not having a great time because he's just in a lot of pain because he got the shit punched out of him he can't pre preach health on himself you, you think you'd be would be able to like just just get over it. <laughs> You'll be okay. Let's get a little, uh, a little table. Let's get a little bone table for this room and like a little bo like a little uh, bone chair. For prisoners. Okay, resistance is just slowly but surely dropping. And eventually we'll, uh, be able to recruit him. Alright, we're gonna move this door over here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Visitors, they might have something to trade. Let's finish building this stuff. He's 
make an amends for his food binge. Going for a little bit of a walk. Okay, that's sealed up. Okay, just need a few more bits of wood and then this little corridor will be all nice and sealed up. If you want to finish building, that would be great. I don't care how much you want to play the game of Ur. You shitter. Okay, where were these visitors at? Let's see if we can run and trade with them real fast. Where where are you? Come back, kangaroo. Please, no. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have anything that I want? Not really. A long robe embedded with special psychic focusing materials. These enhance psychic sensitivity to help dissipate neural heat. Hmm. Probably will be something good to eventually give to, um, yeah, uh, probably good to eventually give to, um, something like that to Genevieve, eventually. Um, uh, I don't know if there's really anything I'd want to buy from them and not much I want to sell. We definitely we we've got two hundred and eighty herbal medicine. We don't need to buy any of that like ever again, like not even close. Hmm. Nah, no, they don't really have much for us, unfortunately. Search opportunity. There we go. Now Olabar can kind of run around in here. These little fuckers should stay in here and kind of in this area mostly. It should be easier to keep them safe and to keep Olabar safe. And we got plenty of little spots to duck into and to hide and just. Yeah. And yeah, he's in a great mood right now because of the catharsis canceling everything else out. So he's gonna just continue to get us some more bricks here, or chunks rather. Apparently it's snowing. Awesome. <laughs> and we're gonna get to continue uh, building um, shelves.
Okay, Diva is recovered. And now Diva has a little table to eat at. While under our jurisdiction. Let's cl just clean up this area a little bit. It's a little, a little grody. 12 and cooking. Nice. More hauling, more hauling, you're researching. Go and chat with Diva. Are you fully healed now from all your bruises? Still not feeling, you're still not feeling great, but you're not like in a bad mood. Like, we probably should put in a nicer floor in there to, um, help the mood be a little better. Because if they're in a higher mood, they'll be more cooperative. You know, that kind of deal. So we'll queue up some stuff here. Should have a good amount of these marble blocks. I don't know if we have enough, but we've got some. From 15 to 13.7. Yeah, if we have, if we have Diva in a better mood, the like the prison cell and the cold thing might go away. Ready apparel is not much we can really do about that. We could probably give her better clothes, like her, like yeah, her parkas and sorry shape. But we might just wait to do that stuff when we recruit her, and we can get make her some new clothes. Okay, you still, you're fine. How about we make some more marble? I think Mulbar can manage that. He's still on the mend, but that's okay. Genevieve reached 12 construction, which means she'll just start building stuff even faster. I think Lemur was like level 16 construction or something like that, like something silly. Blessed be Olabar and his big, thick ass. Go, go eat some food, bud. What is Genevieve up to? Just kind of hanging out. All right. That's fair. Should be building the rest of these. She should be building the rest of these, please, and a thank you. It's not, it's not going to be a uh, perfect um, jail cell, but at the very least won't be quite as bad. Well, it's at least slightly better mood. Like, these two things are what are really dragging it down. Chat and then deliver some food. Yeah, not much of a drop, but hey, any opportunity we can have to get that closer to zero is appreciated.
Okay, it's nice and clean in here, and our, our chef is very skilled, so it doesn't take much. Pruning this goddamn tree again. That said, with him being able to prune it as much, we're getting a third dryad that's going to be growing, which would get us even more medicine. <laughs> I might switch these off of medicine for a while to like be berries or something else, like maybe even wood. Cause yeah, but like this medicine has a long spoilage time, but we might need to start moving some of it into here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have all the herbal medicine put in here, or at least as much of it as we can. A good portion of all the of the medicine there is uh, now stored safely away in the freezer forever, and we keep getting more. <laughs> that's so that's so much medicine. But those two shelves can store up to three hundred medicine. And we're honestly going to probably make another shelf just so we can have plenty. I mean, that's already an intense amount of medicine. We're probably never going to use all of that. The only way we really can is if we get, um... Alright, so I want these to hold uh, like uh textiles. I'll just clean it up in here, look a little nicer. Visiting Lemur. Donkey One is pregnant. 
Yay! <laughs> yeah, let's clean this up in here. It's still hideous, but it's not quite as bad. Let's see. Carriers are, can haul things. Bark skin are kind of like tanks. Interesting. Clawers can do um, a lot of damage, it looks like. Uh, wood makers, well, they make wood, which might be nice to have. So, yeah, we're going to switch these to... Um, Yeah, we're going to switch our dryads to, um, or dryads, rather. I can't speak. We're going to switch the dryads to being wood makers, since we have heaps and heaps of medicine now. And it's in the freezer, so it's never going to expire, and it was, wasn't going to expire anyway. Yeah, it's looking a lot cleaner in here now. And I'm making a concentrated effort to make as much stuff out of bones as, po as possible because um, we have a lot of bones and they'll work just as they'll work just fine for like they'll work perfectly fine for stuff that like uh, stone blocks. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Let's see, stuff like gold, jade, plasteel is fine too. I think it's high time, since it's good, our permanent lab spot, we're gonna start putting in some of this uh, sterile tile in here. Which will increase research speed and just make it a nicer looking room too. Let's see. Well, I tried to force that. I didn't know you could manually try that. Oh, well, I'll just I'll just leave him alone for a while. Oh, she's 
doing she's she's trying to chat right now actually cooking with zucchinis bitch you don't know how to cook <laughs> and I still lowered it by some I heard someone it's like I heard someone lighten up <laughs> Oh, what happened? Genevieve subtly scorned Huntsman's job. That's rude. Huntsman's a nice man, and you're a nimble bisexual wimp. <laughs> That's probably the only way she was able to survive her various uh, run-ins with death, is that she's nimble so she can dodge melee attacks decently well. It's probably her only saving grace is that she can at least try to dodge. All right, and it's nice and clean in here. Oh, the smoke leaf is, uh, it's, it's trugging along. Let's see, we've got 204 blocks of marble, so we could probably put in some more floors if we so choose. Right to sleep, right as I was about to have Lady do that. Son of a bitch. All of our little dryads are uh, now turning into wood makers. Because we've, we've got a sufficient amount of medicine for the foreseeable future. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and put some more floors in. After he's done with his plan with the tree for a while, I'll have him go cut some blocks.
Damn it. She kept, keeps going to sleep right when we're trying to, uh... To lower her resistance some more. Frankly, it's a little rude. <laughs> And they move a lot quicker on these uh, brick to things, so I'm trying to put them in like places where they frequently walk to increase the overall speed around the base. Olaba, Olaba, stinky old gay, stinky old gay man. That's fine. Uh, after you finish this, Olabar. Oh, he's doing it on his own. That's a surprise. Now he's cleaning dirt, and now he's relaxing socially. Trapped indoors. Well, let's fix that. Let's get you some outdoor time. There you go. Just hang out, hang out outside. There you go. Enjoy. That's an easy one to fix. You just let them hang out outside. I feel free! Since I know this fool's gonna be doing and with us having a good amount of wood and also we're getting wood dry wood maker dryads on the way, we're gonna expand the traps some more. Just all the doors opening and closing, because everyone's they're, they're all like stocking up that area. All right. Okay, how much marble do we have now? Seventy six left. Hmm. There's gonna be a point in time where we run out of chunks on the map. But there's quite a few still left. There's actually quite a few still left in our area too. So we'll just uh, have those set to haul and if people aren't, aren't busy with something, they'll hopefully haul some chunks. Okay, and then Jenny here is gonna fix more traps up. And at some point in the future, it may be worth it, our best interest to add another layer of walls on the outside as well. Not only for insulation, but defense from uh, raiders. Batteries stay constantly full, which is nice.
Oh. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Hello. Drop pod raid. Wasn't expecting that one. Dropped in right on top of you. Oh boy. Just what I always wanted. Well, we might die. A terrible, terrible death. Um, he's a ba bad time to be in a bad mood. Uh, let's see. What do I give uh, Olabar here? His melee is much better, so maybe I should give him this like sword. I just know Genevieve, Genevieve needs to get away from there. Run! They are just destroying her bedroom. They're throwing grenades. <laughs> y'all are assholes. What are y'all doing? Okay, I need you to like, I don't know, run somewhere else. Like, cause you're not, she can't really fight very well and she's very fragile. I figured I'd just kidnap her ass. They are causing some strife, I'll tell you that. Really annoying that they're just gonna land right on top of us like that. Very dangerous. throwing grenades everywhere. They're gonna hit their own people. Fucking idiot. <laughs> what in the fuck is wrong with y'all? I'd really rather them, them not break things, but... I think it's time for you to go back inside, Genevieve. How about you go back this way? Like, if they really want to break this, I'll let them have a fucking stone cutting table. Like, I'll, I'll let them have that, and these two are just gonna bleed out very soon. Because they got hit by their own friend's grenades. Really? You're gonna just throw grenades at my table? Come on, really? What are you doing? How about you move further in, so... Dipshit. Really? Was that necessary? Fleeb, you fuck. <laughs> That's like the first drop raid I've had in a long time. And they are merciless.
Or aren't you unusually clever? Okay, they're noticing more than some- okay. Well, you better flee a little faster, cause you pit- you're, you destroyed my- you destroyed my stone cutting table. Now you're target practice. <laughs> Alright, you go- you go take care of yourself. You were just kinda standing in here, they didn't even come bother you, cause I'm- I just kinda forgot about you, which is bad. And you, uh, go back to whatever it was you were doing. They call me, they don't call me Huntsman for nothing. Get him. Um, uh, let's see. Well, your, your right lung's destroyed. Trigger happy, night owl, kind, bisexual, terrible at cooking. Nah, it wouldn't have been the worst colonist, but. Get a little closer, maybe. Really? Really? I don't think you're even getting shooting skill at this point. Point, just, just put them out of their misery. Well, that was an exciting raid. <laughs> Genevieve's bedroom got like fucking demolished. <laughs> Looks like a fucking pigsty in there. rebuild the room not that bad it's just kind of annoying that they just dropped right in her room immediately just in at the worst worst possible time go chat with her before she decides to go to sleep the sooner we can get her recruited the better we don't have any psychite for her yet because this shit's growing slow. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit before we have any psychite that we that grow that we grow that's gonna really do much for her. Yeah, her mood get, is getting lower and lower because the uh, psychite need is so um, disparate. Let's see. Well, show me how many, how long it's been since she's had psychite. I wish it did. Oh, hey, she's twenty now. Congratulations on your birthday in prison. <laughs> uh. Last and just, oh, so in five days, she's going to go into a coma. Anyway, so I think we should be able to administer Psychite Tea to her if she's in a coma. So we just need to kind of like recover her, um, like recruit her, I guess, rather. We'll get there. God, it's such a fucking mess. Where are you? <laughs> You're just sleeping. Wake up. Wake up, you little fucking weirdo. <laughs> Jesus. 
a bunch of dead pig people carrying components and grenades. Mm. We got a good pistol. They could have picked a much worse place to drop in, but it was still very, un very unpleasant. Flee, you motherfucker! You going? You're going to Splash Mountain. <laughs> to chat her up as much as possible whenever I can see the opportunity. It's also getting a lady social up surprisingly well. I got a pretty good bed. Huntsman is... Oh, he's in a... He's not gonna be in a great mood because of, uh... All the corpses. Stop printing the damn tree and go eat food. I put this table here specifically because this asshole would just like eat food without the table and then be upset at eating food without a table, even though, you know, you could just go eat food where, you know, the table is. Ah, well, it's getting lower. It's just a matter of time. Let's see. Granite's alright, but we could probably do with more of it. I need a new stone working table, though. Or stone cutting table. Probably make it out of bones, actually. Yeah, we got plenty of bones. Works for me. It's just less less actual tangible resources we gotta worry about using. Hmm. I know we got some corn planted, but I'm starting to notice our um our we've got like a hundred something left of that stuff. So we might need to go find some berries outside somewhere. Mm, 
Berries, berries, berries. This map has been through at least one winter now. I think it's been through two winters, so like some of the berry bushes have just kind of like gotten killed off by either being eaten by animals or just the cold. So there's a little, generally a bit less of them around than there previously were when we first started the map. Hmm. What the hell is going on here? Huh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Muffalo. Me too. I'm not really seeing that many berry bushes. This fucking crocodile is gonna bother me. Hmm. It might be worth our time to get hydroponics before, um, yeah, it might be worth our time to get in some hydroponics before we get, uh, what you call them? Oh, solar flare. Great. Well. That's going to get our st stuff a little warm in here, so things will start to decay again. Look like our food will start having a bit of a shelf life now. Which means these, when they come back on, are going to have a target temperature of like negative 20 to help mitigate this for next time. There we go, solar flare is done. Cloud watching. Good for you. Hauling chunks. What are you doing? Hauling chunks. You're playing with you're haul, you're also hauling chunks. You're making the stone cutters table again out of bones. Ooh. That looks pretty clean. Uh, now I gotta remake these fucking orders. Marble, granite. Let's switch you up. Granite are more important because they make walls, which help keep us safe. Marble ones are nice to have. Radius of 13, that was marble. It's us down like around there or so. Okay, drop on floor. Drop on floor, okay, so that should be set back up. I am gonna want more, like I, I know I just said that, but I'm, I'm gonna want some more marble made though, cause I'm gonna start flooring up this area too. What you wearing that's tattered, girl? 
Uh, mammoth wool cargo pants. Interesting. Um, urban trousers. Oh, that's something we could probably work on. There's a, probably, I think there's something called like a uh, mending workbench. We can make mending kits and then let us uh, fix. Things. Probably, probably gonna need some more steel for that. So let's get on that with our our space lesbian. She's very good at mining for some reason. So when she's got some extra downtime, she can get some more steel for us. another few days she's gonna have uh, she's gonna be in a coma and after six days she will just be dead but we're gonna hopefully get her some psychite grown far before that psychite currently is olabar I wish they would like do a check after they make a set of blocks and say, oh, hey, my needs are terrible. Let me stop making fucking blocks for half a second and eat some food and go to sleep. Then again, that's pretty realistic for somebody with, like, ADHD. <laughs> Points aggressively at myself. <laughs> get too far from no base because of this fucking crocodile. They're pretty fast. But hopefully if they get super hungry they'll just go to the corpse pit over here and eat some of them. I would hope. We're starting to finally run out of uh, <laughs> of the grain, so I probably should have planted some some rice somewhere in some some capacity. Maybe I should make another growing area of, for just like rice, like out here or something, or maybe right here. I don't know. I just know we might have to start cutting these animals up and using their meat just for simple meals. Not the end of the world, but it's a lot more effectively used if you um, use it with meat to make fine meals. Because <sighs> overall it's the same amount of nutrition, but you get a, a, you get a mood boost, which can be 
The difference between life and death sometimes. As we saw last stream, is there, there's, a, there's a berry bush here. Are there any other berry bushes on this fucking map? There's 15. There's a few out here. There's only 30 berry bushes left on this entire map. That's very few. Like, that's extremely few. Those are piggies. Yeah, I should have definitely, uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe I should have, instead of doing this, I should have done, uh, potatoes or something, but. Because so, if we go up and look at rice, it grows in basically six days. Which, uh... Yeah, maybe we should just do a big-ass field of rice. Like, back here, I could just plant just a massive amount of rice and just... Yeah, we'll do that. As far as I'm aware, all this ground is like normal fertility, so r the rice will grow at the, a normal speed. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's gonna be kind of like our backup thing, because. Let's see, what else can we dig out here? You, 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 and you. Okay, we, we're, we were running a little low on steel, but that should not be a problem pretty soon. Why, why is steel here? Oh, it's because these are still technically stockpile points. Let me, uh... Let's find steel. Uh... We'll, we'll have to manually disallow some stuff. Let's find silver. We'll move that over here as well. There we go. Olbar's ADHD ass out here just not eating. You... No! Eat your damn food at the table. Like a normal human being. Oh, that's because Lady was gonna eat. Why are you eating your food at that table? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, Lady. Fucking rude ass. Hmm. In that case, maybe I should make a. a little room in here. And put more than one chair. In case that decides to happen again, because, yeah. Oh, a psychic sooth for the gorals. Okay, clean up a little bit of your room. I can't believe those asshole freaking um, pig people. One of them was just throwing grenades and like blew half of their team to like just straight to shit. It's kind of funny, but just like, I can't believe it. Okay, he's finally gotten over his wife dying. It's like, finally. <laughs> And you can continue hauling some marble chunks there. Fuckaroo. Then all this steel is gonna go in as well. Oh, Olabar is beginning the massive rice planting 
of 1st of August, 5502. Like, if we have, if it comes to it, we will, uh, butcher some of these animals and use them as just, for just, like, meat, food. What? Okay, I, that's acceptable, because that's important to get her on our team. Even if she joins our team and then just gets falls into a coma. Oh, the wood, the wood dryads. Holy shit, that's a lot of wood. I was expecting like 10 or 15. No, they're they're making 32 wood every uh, every two days. So that's like 96 wood every two days. That's ridiculous. Yeah, let's make some more of these for wood. Wood. Zoe's failing shuttle. A shuttle of the Broken Empire has taken damage and is seeking a place to land. Its commander Zoe wants to land at Kataspia. Employees from Blue Moon Corporation will attack the crash shuttle site and attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. The shuttle contains Zoe, another civilian, and two cataphracts. The commander and civilian must be rescued. But the cataphracts may be sacrificed. Again, I don't know if I'm really ready for any of this quest shit. I'm trying to, like, have a defended base and get our food supplies back up. It's just bad timing. Bad timing, Zoe. Hey, we got all this rice planted. Donkey one has given birth. Oh my goodness, it's a little, a little baby donkey. Consume hay. A wild stray, donkey. A male donkey, b birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, donkey. What's your life expectancy? You're like 12. I don't know. Okay, you're like middle age. So you'll pr we'll probably be able to have another... Uh, we'll likely be able to have another girl donkey born before it gets too bad or too late or whatever. Let's expand this out so we can hold more chunks. Oh, perfect. I was going to say, hmm, I wonder what, what lady's up to. Oh, it's getting lower. Once it hits zero, we should be able to recruit recruit Diva there. Although I can imagine um, if Diva falls into a coma, the recruitment will have to like wait. <laughs> see what's for these shelves? Raw food. Okay, I think these are like back backup shelves that are also just empty. If I was gonna if I was gonna increase the size of any room, it'd probably be this so I could just have more shelves of meat and stuff. But this is already like way more space like way more nutrition in one space than I previously would have had because I didn't know shell I don't know if shelves always did this where they can hold three stacks of stuff. Because that's very strong. Like I can't believe I just didn't know that. <laughs> Looks a lot neater. Uh, we could probably add um, components to to these.
Copy our settings over. Okay, let's get back to the game. I was checking Discord to make sure I wasn't missing anything important. So far, no. Olabar, what's up, bud? What are you doing? It's just dark. You ate without a table, you fucking fool. I'm feeling we're out of weed. According to this chart, every five days, you can um, give a baby a beer. <laughs> Maybe you probably shouldn't, but I mean... There's no minimum tolerance. Any dose can cause an addiction. Okay, so. Since there is a minimum tolerance, that means that the safe dose thing means that they'll actually be able to use it. So let's go ahead back to um, social drugs. And for beer, we'll do it every two days for the same criteria. Like if your mood's too low. And then watch them all just swoop on the beer like a fucking, like, murder of crows. <laughs> I just think that'd be really funny, just, like, immediately they all just start drinking beer. Trying to trying to lab out how I can do this to add another set of batteries. Okay, I think I have an idea. Two, three, space. Uh, cancel you because we're gonna move this wall down and we'll move stuff around and kind of reconfigure how we want to do stuff. Well, now that he's not dealing with the whole, like, depressing, my wife is dead thing, he's doing great. Just had to get over that minor, uh, little bit of a kerfuffle, you know? Just a big deal.
Okay, so we've got two batteries worth of, um, we got six batteries, each one can hold 600, so each of these covers three batteries. Hmm. I think these will work as long as they're on the same line. Take their organs. I'm looking at batteries, not organs. Birdie, no. <laughs> organs. Delicious, squishy organs. I'm just trying to figure out how these batteries are supposed to fucking fuel the batteries with organs. I mean, you kind of can, I think, actually. You can, like, turn genetic material, like, organic material into, uh, like... Chem fuel, like if you cut up people up and turn their human meat into uh, chem fuel, you technically can kind of do that, actually. Um, let's see what we got going on. Because um, this is a little messy, and I'm trying to be able to s squeeze some more batteries in, but I just got to figure out how I want to do that. I'm guessing something like this, where I line them all up like this. Yeah, that's probably about, that's probably going to work. We got donkeys. Because Randy Rand decided I needed donkeys for some fucking reason. So he gave me donkeys. Donkey! <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, let's uh, deconstruct these little guys because they're no longer going to be necessary. There we go. I want to say these would be fine if, as long as they're like on the grid in general. Yeah, we got some power going. We've got our freezer. We've got some shelves in here looking a little nicer. We're growing... We're growing some psychoid here because we have a new person we're trying to recruit that needs psychoid in their body to live. And another day they're going to go into a coma because they've been in prison for like 30 days because it's just been taking forever to freaking recruit them. Item produced. Wood. Oh yeah, these little little friends here make free wood for us. Which means we can set up more traps. We've got a nice little trap 
fucking hallway. And Olabar is gonna come play with the tree. No, he's, he's not. He's gonna actually collect some wood. Yeah, I... I would have done that, but we were, um... I was stupid. I was kind of, like, re-remembering how to play the game, and I made several, uh, missteps that I have... I was able to recover from, but it's not ideal. Like, most recent one is I'm almost out of, uh... I'm out of rice, basically. And we're gonna run out of meals before long, so I was like, I gotta plant some... I gotta, I gotta plant some emergency rice for our fine meals. We do have some meat left over we can use, and in dire straits, I've got this pemmican back here. We've got a little freezer going, and a nice menagerie of animals <laughs> we've found around the map. Um, what we got going on? There's a deer. There's a hachiko. A muffalo corpse. You can tell by its fucking just sassy skeleton. <laughs> Sassiest skeleton in all the West. There's like a rotting muffalo right here. It killed you. Oh, a smile. Consume the Hachi booty. <laughs> We've got plenty of meat already. We'll leave the Hachi booty to live for now. Ooh, when did that? That dumpy will feed you for days. <laughs> When did this get here? It probably landed at some point last stream, but this is a very uh, nice, um, nice little, nice little meteor right here. Okay, how much more do you need, fucking divas or goddamn me? Of course it's diva. Uh, two point one. I have a feeling they're gonna go into their coma soon. Oh, the, the massive amount of doors opening. This is the door sound. Oh, we got a baby donkey. It is uh, not your birthday today. You are one day old. <laughs> yeah, if, if it gets bad, we'll just use some of this meat for simple meals and I'll... Probably hold us off till the rice is done, and then we'll cut up some of these animal aminals. They're hauling some of the components back. Lady didn't really get very far, did she? <laughs> this one's dragging over more rocks. I didn't know shelves could hold like three stacks in one slot like this until this playthrough. I can tell literally this playthrough, like. I didn't know how OP shelves are. Inspire creativity, Genevieve. Oh, good, Jenny. Good for you. What's your What's your crafting level? Oh, fifteen. Okay. Um, yeah, that might actually come in some in handy for something. Let's see. That is next item art or furniture she creates will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be this even allows the creation of legendary items hmm what should I make with that is there some sort of oh we can make we can make a sick ass poker table and have all the fucking fools do you need a seat to play uh, to sit at these I can't remember. Hmm. Soft top bounded table for playing a variety of billiard set games. A trained shooting ability. Okay, this one does need uh, stools or chairs. The billiards table does not. We're going to make a bone billiards table. Um, yeah, we'll make it out of bones. We got a lot of bones. We use bones for a lot of our construction. Kind of like this better.
Yeah, we'll put a billiards table here and have Genevieve make this, like, sick-ass billiards table. Enough research. Nerd time is over. Billiards time. Oh, all of our here is have, having a fucking brewski. Alcohol warmth. I, f I just feel a little, a bit more relaxed after that drink. That's good. Good for you, Olabar. All right, Jenny. Make me proud. Make something good, or at least nice, that people want to rate us over. A masterwork billiard bone billiards table. Sweet Jesus, that's. <coughs> 182% recreation power. Holy shit. That's gonna be nice to have. $665. Mmm. Well, I think that gets rid of the hoop. I think that kind of outclasses the hoopstone table just a little bit. No, don't play hoopstone. Play, some, play something more interesting. Be gone, hoopstone. Oh, everyone's asleep now. <laughs> well, the smoke leaf's almost done. I was kind of growing some of that just so I could have, um... Weed for, you know, mood regulation. Because last stream, uh, Huntsman's wife got killed and partially eaten by a, uh, Smile Dawn. This is her, her. This is her sarcophagus in here. Le lemur, we we will not forget about you, lemur. Um. So he is like he was in like a very deep dark depression for like thirty something days because his wife died. Not ideal. Oh, yep. Down she goes. Has life threatening. Psychic dependency. I think my headset just turned itself off. Hmm. So I power my headset off and then back on again. This headset needs replaced at some point in the future. I've had it for like a year and some change now. And frankly, that's pretty good. A pretty good track record for like a moderately cheap headset from Walmart. <laughs> like it, it's 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 survived the great skeleton war of 2022 or I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, lady. Um, take Fine. Okay, lady, take her to bed. Not like that. Fucking lesbian. I think once we have Psychite Grin, we can make some Psychite Tea, we can administer some of that, because it says, has an administer beer. Now, if this was just a person we weren't going to be having around, we'd probably just, like, take their organs out a long time ago. <laughs> just scoop them on out. Bart, a bartender from Eastern Veristan is visiting Colony. He has, 
His name is his name is Drew Mike Miracle. I thought that was said Michaels. No, it's Miracles. All right, Mr. Miracles. Oh, yeah, these people from Verisiana like these purple masks. It's kind of weird. They're a little strange. No one, nobody's been cleaning any of this stuff. They've just been like walking by all this filth. Oh, there's Jesus. These things are just crapping out wood, which is good because we use wood traps for defense when they won't decide to, they want to work at least, you know. Lady is just Lady Lady's a, a woman of many talents. <laughs> She's good at medical, she's good at mining, she's good at artistic, she's good at social. A paid heat wave, no thank you, unless that's really good. Oh, that is actually really good. Um, shit. No, we can't afford that because we're trying to grow Psychite so we can, um, you know, have D.Va be staying alive. I think we're researching hydroponics right now so that if we have basins outside, we could, uh, quickly grow stuff. Uh. Donkey! <laughs> the donkeys are having a good time. Good for them. We're gonna have her just finish this. Before she goes back to do anything else. Otherwise, she'll get distracted and yeah. Oh, the weed! The weed is coming. <laughs> I don't know if I should plant more there or if I should uh, plant rice. I should probably plant rice. It'd be smart to do that. To plant some rice here because this is a fertile patch of grass. Yeah, it's it's part of the the fertile stuff, which is like a which means it gets a uh, forty percent more growth speed. So we'll plant some rice there. Oh shit! Where was that uh Veristan guy? I don't even I didn't even see him. Where where did he go? Mr. Miracles, come back! <laughs> Mr. Miracles, please. No, come back. What do you got? What do you got, Mr. Miracles? Uh, let's see. Tech print for jump packs. Very expensive, so we pro we can't afford that. Let's see. We got cloth. We have components. You are selling components, so we'll buy some more. Never bad to have uh, components. Frag grenades. Why don't you haul those back first? <laughs> they're all just running out to pick up more garbage. Oh, they're having a party! Gen Genevieve is throwing a party. Yay! Ritual opportunity soon. Uh, Borbrin's Advent. <laughs> These fucking names, I swear. I'm never gonna remember them. What are we having the party? We're all having the party in the billiards room. At least we have a decent party room now. I mean, it's a little slim, but... It's gonna show this medical emergency shit, like, constantly until we get her to the Psychite. Which should be soon... Ish. They're they're just still playing freaking er. Oh yeah, earlier uh, a little bit ago, a uh, a raid party dropped right on top of Genevieve's bedroom, right in here. So while they were dropping, I was like, "Oh, get the fuck out of there!" <laughs> and there's still just remnants of the scuffle that happened in there.
All right, I might have to start doing some uh, simple meals in a similar way. I have um. Turn to, let's see, a, car a carnivore lavish meal is 1.25 nutrition. A carnivore fine meal is 0.75, so... Like, I think one would take, like, one normal meal would take, uh... One normal fine meal would take 0 0.5, 0 0.5, but that would be 0.75. So, it would use three meat to make four of these meals. It'd probably be better to just uh, do simple meals, because, yeah, it's less. We might miss that mood boost, but. Uh, let's look at details. Take the best stockpile and Huntsman, okay. Let's see, do until you have X, 20. Um, we're just gonna do like that because hopefully we won't need to eat make too many of those Where's the dirt at? There's the dirt. Well, we got food now. It's just not gonna be the greatest food, but we're not gonna make that mistake again. Oh, I guess 330 smoke leaf. Uh, I think I can make joints here. <laughs> Uh, I thought I could at least. Uh, there they are, smoke leaf joint. <laughs> Neat. Did I get a drug station somewhere? Le an electric drug lab, a uh, wooden mending machine. I think I made that down there, yeah. Uh, drug lab. An electric dr drug lab would probably be wor more worth our time. I think we could make some. Well, we're gonna probably want it at some point anyway. Hmm, where am I gonna put this? I could probably put it like over here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Um. Uh, No, not there. Um, let's maybe make it out. Let's see if we can make it out of bones. If I can make anything out of bones, I try to just because it uses bones instead of wood. And we've got a few bones, as you, you might be able to, to tell. <laughs> Let's see, will this let us make smoke leaf? It will. At high speed. High speed joints. Oh, it looks like Huntsman's got a new job. He's gonna make weed. He's gonna roll some joints. The 
It's time to cook. Oh boy, more wood. I think once it hits like late fall or so, we're probably gonna switch those dr dryads to being um, the ones that make berries. Okay, those people are just gonna be kind of around. Okay, what's this research? I can't remember what she was researching. <laughs> I kinda lost track. Oh, hydroponics. Perfect. Uh, what was I research? I was researching something previously. I think it was geothermal. Yeah. Figure, figure we can make a hydroponics basin just so we can like kind of quickly grow some things if we really need something really quick. Plus there's a perfect spot for it right here. Where's... You want to make that? You weirdo. Hmm. What can we all grow in here? A surprisingly decent amount of stuff. Mm. For now, I'll just we'll actually have it as rice now. Okay, things are going decently well right now. We got Story and Sammy. Their weird ass masks. Oh boy. A lot of. A lot of fun options here if you're just looking over here. Um, cure Blood Rock, Cure Scaria, Euthanize Baca, Extract Hemogen Pack. That's for your uh, vampire people. Anti Abasia Medication Infusion. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, once we can get some psychic tea, we should be able to administer it and get them out of their coma, and finish, and then finish uh, recruiting them, and then everything will be fine. Gift. Oh, nice components. That's actually useful. Thank you. <laughs> uh, go haul those components in before you go to bed. There, please, and thank you. Clean your room, too. <laughs> Her bedroom is just still gross as shit from the invasion. Oh, that's annoying, but at least it's only a low drone. Could be worse. That's kind of what, that's just kind of like how you have to handle reindeer and you're like, it could be worse. Are you still awake? Why are you still awake? What? Did he just, what? he might have just woken up. It's like 4 a.m. He's a little weird like that. 
mean, all this rice is growing pretty nicely, so once that grows, we're going to have, like, a ton of food. Which is fine. Because all, all this space down here wasn't really being used for anything, so uh, I was like, oh, let's uh, grow some, uh... Let's grow some rice down here. Well, this grinds the hell out of his plant skill. kind of just biding our time waiting for the psychic to be done cuz yeah um yeah <laughs> not great that we have to wait for it it grows why is it only growing oh it's probably cuz psychic has like a weird uh growth rate probably need to look at the actual this thing yeah uh, it has a has a weird fertility sensitivity so it grows slower in general than what it may suggest so yeah that explains why it's not done yet oh some rice is rice doesn't have that problem <laughs> more wood a visitor Hide away from the gray mule Branya is visiting her. She is named Qu Quitandacom Croix. <laughs> That's a fucking name and a half. Um, let's see what you got to trade there, friend. If I'm lucky, you'll have like some. <laughs> is that like a fake beard? Oh, it's a veil. I was like, I thought that was like a fake beard. I was like, <laughs> she's she's really in disguise. With their fucking Joker, Joker ass hair. <laughs> uh, lady, how about you go uh, see what our friend here has to sell? Pemmican, smoke leaf, and a steel breaching axe. Not an awful lot, unfortunately. But I might be able to offload some of this, like, some of these crappy weapons. Although it might be more worth it to melt down the steel ones. Hmm. Fires a single anti-grain shell at precise accuracy due to laser targeting. The warhead explodes in the air, releasing a wave of deadly electroshock. I think that's for, uh, against robots. Probably. Oh, he didn't really have much for us, but go about your business. Yeah, low food, I know. Let's... Got like a the eighty fucking joints, <laughs> Jesus. Call call you Huntsman eighty joints. Tw level twenty until Jesus Christ. Literally like as high as you can go. <laughs> just just she's just rather good at it, I guess. Or I guess the left, next level. Well, surely there's not a higher level than that, is there? Oh, I think they tried to. Yeah, Huntsman tried to attract Genevieve by complimenting her leg hair. <laughs> Yo, girl, that's a nice leg hair you got there. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Sometimes you just gotta know what to say to him. I guess that's one of the things you can say to him. Okay, we're gonna cut up a creature, because we're pretty low on meat.
Oh, they can only do romancing stuff like every five days. That's kind of weird. She's not really close to anyone except for Huntsman because he's kind and man, Olabar is a like abrasive. I think yeah, he's a he's an abrasive gay man. Kind of how a lot of <laughs> gay men. I probably shouldn't say that, um, <laughs> but <laughs> um, jeez. Uh, where are you going, lady? What are you doing? Cleaning blood? All right. And there's new lovers. Genevieve. Oh, hey, they actually did. They're actually doing the thing. Genevieve tried to flirt with Huntsman by making an observation about the link between rights and femininity. Huntsman responded well and is now Genevieve's lover. They now want to sleep in the same bed. Well, there they go. They already kind of figured that out. So, cool. Um, let's not you. Well, I need to go on to one of them. Um, avoid pregnancy. I can't. I can't deal with that right now. <laughs> so now he's gonna have a second wife. Probably eventually. He's like, "Don't worry, Lemur. I moved on." <laughs> I need you to, uh... To do a little bit of extra cooking. Y'all can y'all can do your business, whatever. What uh, I was about to say, where's Olabar? But I should have known where Olabar is. He's married to his work. <laughs> Just a stinky old gay gardener. He he does good work and he loves his work, so you know I can't really can't really be too hard on him. I'll have Genevieve make another stool here. Because people, for some reason, like to come out here and eat food, even when they're not named Olabar. Borbrin's advent opportunity. Holiests can have a special celebration. Well, let's look at, uh... A large loudspeaker for playing music. At least one is necessary to hold a dance party, and more loudspeakers will enhance the effect. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is a little obtuse to me, but maybe a light ball would be um, appropriate. But I'll have, have a disco ball next to lemurs, too. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Lovers, we're gonna do that soon. Just wanna kind of put in the disco light first. All right, let's see. Public, no. Uh, Need at least 25 unroof cells nearby. Okay, that's the one we have to do outside, I think. I think this is the one with the, uh, f the, the lanterns or something. Yeah, it's sky lanterns, okay. Oh, yeah, that's how we recruited Lady, actually. I think she joined randomly because of this, uh, Borbrin's advent we did one of the last years. Either that or she came from the sky, I can't remember. 
but let's we'll put a campfire outside or something and or like a ritual spot outside A social ritual with people release sky lanterns. Participants will, will assemble wooden sky lanterns while socializing, then release them and watch them drift away. It's very likely this is going to be a good outcome, but I've most certainly had just the pretty terrible luck sometimes, so. Sky lanterns. Unforgettable. Oh boy, we get a wanderer, a hypno cult leader. <laughs> oh, great. Has arrived and wants to join the colony. He is willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn him down and send him away. However, your colonists will be disturbed by sending someone away in need. The Bourbon's advent was unforgettable. Making the lanterns was a time of laughter, and everyone's spirit rose with them. Plus 10 mood for three, six days. I can't read. Six days. So he rolled 18% unforgettable, which is pretty nice. Hmm. Well, that would give us six people. I just don't know what he is. <laughs> like, I don't know what his business is or what he's about. And let's postpone it. I don't want to grow too big because that's how we get in trouble. We're already kind of a, a, too big as it is, but we kind of needed to expand out more out of necessity. How's Psyche doing? 88% grown. Holy shit, this rice is almost done already. God damn, that's fast. I've never really played too much with hydroponic uh, basins. Almost never really in, I'm in a position where I need to use them. Funny is like, this is what uh, the cargo pods, huh? What do we got? Joseph Fuartagasia, whatever the fuck that is. We got some wool, yay, cool. Too cool for wool. Haul, the, haul all of it. I don't care if Huntsman's trying to haul it. Just haul all of it at once. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. <sighs> but that's what Lemur and uh, Huntsman used to do. They used to both uh, research, and Olbar is visiting uh, Lemur. Rest in peace. Maybe some other time. Like, eventually this is gonna be like a throne room for, like, somebody that has, like, 
the the throne needs to be on the, the throne and all that shit. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up stretching this out a little bit more, maybe making a uh, making it a uh, three cooler setup. Just so we can have more storage. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I saw particles. I was like, oh what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Oh great, that didn't take long. Jesus, I told y'all to be careful. <laughs> Um, well, that's going to be interesting. I could just, you know, have an, have, make her have an abortion, but I've never played with the kids before. So let's, uh, let's do something I'm probably going to regret. <laughs> don't really know what to expect. I guess maybe this room could be a nursery in that case. I don't fucking know. Bone bed, we'll s These donkeys gonna have like as like endless amounts of hay. <laughs> fella Kitty VR has joined the Bean Army. Hello, Fella Kitty. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well today. We are playing Rimworld. Uh, Genevieve here just got fucking pregnant, so we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> gotta gotta love that. <laughs> Um, I even said, oh, hey, maybe don't do that, and, uh, they're just like, yeah, no, nah, how about that? So, I mean, this new, um, DLC, the biotech, has, like, children and stuff in it, and so I've never dealt with them, so we're gonna probably, uh, just do it anyway, against my better judgment, because <laughs> that sounds, um, that sounds like a, a time and a half. Okay... That's great. We already got this stuff. Genevieve got knocked up. What? What? There's a dead donkey over here. Um, well, let's uh, grab that. And this person wants to join us because we had a really good festival. And well, we're gonna accept. And I don't know what your business is. You got a fabulous fucking beard. Um, what's? What are your stats? What do you like? Oh, jeez. 
Um, we are pessimists. That's fantastic. Preggers. <laughs> Can't cook. You're you're a pessimist bisexual. Join the fucking club. <laughs> um, well, you're good at melee, and that's kind of really it. Pretty good at social, but you're you have a you're genetically predisposed to not be good at social. Oh, you're a Neanderthal. I was what was I mean? They got the, like the forehead, so I could have get should have guessed that. But cool, we're getting a bunch of different kind of people in our uh, in our colony. So I guess you're gonna be a melee fighter, a fighter, a hypno cult leader. What does that even mean? Let's see, a space yacht pilot as a child. <laughs> How does that how does that work? <laughs> witnessing, witnessing the depths of hedonism these people descended into changed him in ways not even he understood. Desiring to understand people, Callie learned hypnotism and discovered his talent for the art. He gathered followers and formed a cult around his vibrant personality. The authorities discovered his illegal operations and Callie fled before he could be arrested. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, well. There's another another one on the team, I guess. We just finished making him a bedroom, at least. Well, we got to put some floor in. Um, we'll add a light here, and oh, we got plenty of marble, so let's start putting some floor in for his little new little bedroom there. All right, Jen. All right, Mama. You can't stop researching. But inspect baby. Mid black hair and a skin color. Well, that's that's very uh, in, that's very descriptive. Thank you, game. <laughs> Your baby's gonna have hair and it's gonna have skin. Good job. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Okay. Well. I think he just constructed this light. Um, we're not, we're, you're uh, not gonna do that. No thanks. P please stop doing things. Uh, no, turn off all of these. Let's see, ladies, a uh, social skill. He's the new warden because he has high, he has higher, he has higher. Um, Social than lady does, so that works. Uh, child care, you know, he's he's gonna be the nanny too. I guess that's gonna be something that needs done. His other thing is gonna be he's gonna clean a lot if there's nothing else going on because our our base is a little gr grody sometimes. So having someone that can be dedicated to cleaning that would be good. But how is your day going, fella kitty? I've been streaming a good portion of the day so far, and a little bit later, me and my roommate are probably going to do dinner, and then I'll stream some more. Super sleep. Perfect. Just sleep forever. Fuck it. Sleep. I don't know what we're going to have. We, we try to plan all this shit out because we're both um, neurodivergent folks with... Um, Varying energy levels and needs, you know that stuff. So we try to like plan stuff out, but sometimes you just gotta have to say screw it and not follow the plan. Sometimes I guess. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna. We got donkeys too. Donkey. Baby donkey, and then the two donkeys here. They're just. Hanging out, eating hay. <laughs> they're pretty cute. As far as donkeys go, they're pretty cute. Yeah, that's gonna like. We're also trying to like. Uh, we're, this we have a prisoner here that we've been trying to recruit for a while, and she's currently in a coma because she needs uh, drugs in her system to actually survive. <laughs> so. She's in a coma because she just we don't have those drugs quite. We're almost there though, and we can make her some drugs. I have a feeling that they're made in a very similar engine, but 
yeah, this game, I have a feeling this, I, I would say this game is way better than Prison Architect, but I don't know. I think it's just because you could probably just do more in this game. You can you can have prisoners in this game. It's basically Prisoner Ar Architect, but better, I guess. Like, you can have a bunch of prisoners. You can, you can do a bunch of fucked up shit in this game. You can harvest organs from random people passing by your base. <laughs> you can, um, you can, uh, have a bunch of slaves. If you really, yeah, this game is amazing, but you gotta kind of don't get too off, too far off in the weeds. Well, Callie's just having a, a brewski. Good for you. What? Were you just bored? I mean, I think his mood's not super... Oh, yeah, he's a pessimist. He's always going to be in a shitty mood. Oh. Oh. Genevieve talked deeply about the link between love and reality. With Good for you. Your morning sickness. I was like, wait, what's going on? Why are you throwing up? Oh, the whole pregnant thing. Yeah, that that, that happens. <laughs> you know, some, sometimes you just... just Hork up a lung. No big deal. And you're just cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. Got Davy Crockett here cooking up all of our foods. Oh. Oh, this big rice field's ready to harvest. Oh, this fucking crocodile scares the shit out of me every time. Because um, one of our other colonists we had isn't here because... She would just mind her own business, like, over here, and a freaking saber tooth cat just jumped jumped her and killed her and ate, partially ate her before we could kill it. Uh, it was not a fun... It, yeah, it was, it was fucking scary. I was... And this thing is... Yeah, it, it was not a good time. <laughs> yeah, this game's got all kinds of just opportunities for shenanigans like that. Um... We're gonna, like, not let him re-sow this right now, because I want this crocodile to go somewhere else. This is, this is modded stuff. This game has a huge modding uh, community as well. But yeah, this is like a megafauna kind of shit, like extinct animals. Which I am a, a big fan of that kind of stuff in general. I like old, like, extinct animals. It's like, wow, look at this big-ass animal. <laughs> Basically. Uh, there's so much rice down here. You're gonna go inside. Take some with you. It can be a very fun game. You can you can kind of do what you want with it, depending on like how you set the scenario up and everything. And like you can, from the outside, you could like just play like a really interesting group of people with certain stuff. And in the new DLC Biotech, you can even edit people's genetics. Like, you can go that far into in depth. Like, for example, this this girl here we're trying to recruit, she is a waster. And she's got all this kind of stuff in her genome. She's immune to environmental toxins. She's very immune to just super immune to, to diseases. Uh, she's, um, can't get addicted to wake up, which is like... A drug that like wakes you up she's um, dependent on psychite which is another drug on the troll well, that's not very that's not very nice aggressive unattractive hmm well I'm sure she'll get along just fine at least with, at least with huntsman because he's nice <laughs> the other people maybe not because all of our heroes an, a an abrasive gay man. He's just kind of unhappy. Well, maybe not. Uh, maybe not right now. But he's just—he just does. He likes his plants, and he just kind of does his. He plays with the tree over here. Uh, well, new guy's doing fine. He's cleaning up the base. It's kind of what I needed him to do, and he's smoking weed. <laughs> Just picks up a big old stogie and just lights it up. <clears throat> yeah, him being a pessimist is kind of annoying. Because that's just a permanent, like, minus six to his mood without us being able to really do anything about it. But yeah, if you like these kind of, if you like games like this, highly recommend. Even just buying the base game. There's so much modded stuff that, like, it almost doesn't matter if you can't get the DLCs, because 
There's just so much to do anyway. Okay, we're gonna switch this from rice to probably smoke leaf. Nice! Awesome! <clears throat> I'm glad to have been able to show you a game that you might enjoy. It's fucking crocodile. <laughs> now, if I could keep people away from this area here, I could probably try to kill this thing, but, like, if we start, sh start shooting at it, it'll get pissed off and probably start to get to a state called Manhunter, where, like, if anyone gets, like, within range of it, it'll chase after them and try to beat the shit out of them. Generally, when they're in that state, they won't try to, like, actually kill people. They'll just, like, beat them up until they get knocked over, but it's still not great when a big like crocodile with big ass teeth like knives is gonna chase you down yeah sure no problem all right he's cooking he's making up some food for us okay genevieve oh they're 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 doing the thing let's avert your eyes <laughs> <laughs> they're doing they're doing it okay she's out of bed they they, they, they they're done I think <laughs> her right little toe is destroyed <laughs> it's not graphic or anything but it's just like oh 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 whoops sorry sorry I didn't mean to <laughs> didn't mean to look that's not what I'm here for <laughs> Clean up all the vomit and all the dirt around the base. Uh, I might also make him do hauling as well. If there's stuff that needs hauled around, then I'll have Callie do it. Mm -mm. How about we... Um... Have you stopped doing that? And you stop doing that because this thing's getting pretty hungry and once it gets to a certain point it will try to like start hunting things and if it can't find anything nearby that's an animal it will target your colonists so let's um, temporarily stop that we're just we'll force them to all be drafted so they won't move around anymore. Let's see, I think Genevieve's the only one I haven't really done anything with yet. Uh, how about you do that too, just just hang out for a sec. I wanna see what this crocodile does, cause I think once it gets closer to 30, it'll like kinda decide what it wants to, what it wants to do. So we'll just sit here and uh, wait patiently. Come on. Well, they just, these things make, these things are cool. They just make resources for you. you just, Take care of their tree and they'll just be happy as a clam. Alright, crocodile, what are you gonna do? Please just go somewhere else. Go like kill this deer go kill that deer. There's a deer over there. Oh, it's going after a muffalo. That muffalo probably does not stand a chance. Oh, no. No, it no, it does not. And it's dead. That's how quickly you can just kill shit. So, um, yeah. Maybe I need to wall this in. Probably a good idea. Uh, how much? I don't have that many blocks, though. Hmm. Well, looks like we should make some then. Uh, let's unspend that. And then Olabar tends to do that. Okay, he's hard. I don't think I, I put him on. Oh, I think I... They either just kind of got un... Um, yeah, I think they just kind of got uh, undrafted after a while on their own. Well, it only ate 22% uh, of this muffalo, so we can go pick the rest up. And put throw it in the freezer. 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, we got the first psychoid leaves. It's gonna be very nice. We could probably make some, uh, some psychoid, some psychoid tea here. Guacamole, huh? Well, we don't really have <laughs> We don't really have avocados or tomatoes, so that's not uh, Let's go ahead and make a psychite tea and see if we can administer it to diva here Otherwise, we'll have to make some like actual like Cocaine basically and like give it to them while they're because they're unconscious right now <laughs> Because they need psychite and well, we just got our first bit of it. Switch this back to smoke leaf so we can have more of those for. Oh, that needs to be hay grass. Cl I kept clicking the wrong stuff. It's really easy to kind of just do that. Alright. Alright, lady, what are you doing? You're feeding them. Um... Go to you, go to health, let's go to operations. We should have one down here for a Mr. Psycho. Yes. I was hoping we'd be able to do that. Prioritize operating. So we're going to give them the Psycho T and they should... I don't know how quickly they're going to wake back up, but... Oh, hey. Immediately, they're like, oh, 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 I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Drinking this tea has made me feel great. I love having this energy. High on psychite tea. Active psychite tea in the bloodstream generates a mild euphoric effect. Reduces pain by 10% and uh, helps you stay awake longer. Yay. And now we can continue trying to recruit them. Prisoner Diva's resistance has been broken, my lady. Recruitment attempts will now begin. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait till probably another, just another short while to be able to try to recruiting them. Okay, and how many leaves did we get out of that? Pretty good amount, I'd say. Uh, can we, is it gonna let us sew in here? What's Olabar up to? Sewing hay grass, it looks like. I don't know, he's gonna play pool. <laughs> Talking about botched surgeries, what the fuck's wrong with y'all? <laughs> uh, we need to cut up some another animal or two. We've got just a nice little zoo in here. <laughs> we'll, cut up, we'll cut up a few of them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Those two are uh, very enthusiastic about the whole, um, the whole being a couple thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Placing components. Okay. Cool. Very, very they have a very healthy enthusiasm for making love. <laughs> She's like, I'm just trying to build floors. <laughs> just morning sickness. Mmm. Uh, it means I should probably try to get a um, a nursery of some kind. I don't know what that even implies. Like, I don't know what I even need for that. Uh, I would imagine like a baby crib or something. There's a blackboard. Um, let's see. What, what else we got in this? There's a school desk. Here's a crib. High quality crib will make a baby happy. 
I don't think anything makes babies happy. <laughs> uh, let's make this one out of bones. <laughs> Some fucking, like, goddamn Adam's Family bullshit. Let's make our baby crib out of bones. <laughs> hey, you, you do what you gotta do, right? Life's hard out here, here on the rim. New recruit, Diva. Oh, yeah, sweet. Diva has now joined her cause. Let's see. She's She can learn how to shoot. And otherwise, she's kind of decent at some things, but... Eh. Okay, which means this is going to be Diva's room now. immediately just put on a bunch of weird clothes. Smoking weed every day. <laughs> I probably should let you do construction stuff. It's not the end of the world if you break something, because... Yeah. Not gonna get it better if you don't do it. Do the, do the thing. All right, let's look at schedules. We'll set you up similar to everything else. Okay, perfect. All right, let's look. We got the baby crib gonna be made there we go we don't have a baby for it yet too large <laughs> but what if I wanted to sleep in it let's look at what else we got um, furniture also made out of, made out of bones <laughs> Decoration for babies. Baby decorations increase the rate at which babies fill their neat play need when an adult plays with them. Place these around your child play areas. Some more gonna be some morbid ass freaking baby decorations. <laughs> Just nothing but bones. We got a lot of bones, so I try to use them whenever I can. Oh, hey, the corn uh, grew. Nice. It's more food. Uh, let's look at research stuff, because what are we working on? Geothermal power? That's actually good, because we have a geothermal vent right here. Oh, yeah, we got some berry bushes kind of started coming back around. That's nice. Shooting's good. Shooting's really good on him. Uh, do we have... What weapons we got? Just like a bunch of stuff here, but most of it's not super good. Might have him go hunt something. Like, maybe I'll go down here and have him hunt one of these muffalo or something. He's not super good at researching, but he's gotten as high as he is because of just determination, really. Alright, what is this croc uh, doing? Oh, uh, it's fine. We can go near it, at least right now.
probably not the best time to go hunting in the middle of a fucking thunderstorm. Let's get closer to this little structure here in the event that um, I get attacked by these two. Okay, we can get in there, so. Oh, yep. Better run. Better run, Huntsman. They're coming for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. He might be able to make it in there in time, but ooh, it's a little dicey. And on your right, you see Splash Mountain. <laughs> That's why I named the place where I put all the corpses. Oh, just in time. Oh, he got in there just in time and I get assault. Oh, he, he's probably going to need to, like, leave some more. I'm just going to have him, like, run up this way. And if he gets caught out, he gets caught out. I don't really know what to really... Oh, they're still attacking the door. What buffoons. Run. <laughs> run, dude. <laughs> Fire. I'm busy. Eh, it's fine. The rain will put it out. Oh, he, he actually has a pretty good chance of making it inside. I mean, this muffle is going to just eventually bleed out, so that's fine. Oh, great. Great timing. Where's the war? Okay, the war. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a shit show. Get in here. We need to have people not be outside because this warg is hungry and, um,. I guess there's nothing else really nearby it that it wants to hunt other than us. So we're lucky that we just kind of managed to dip in there. But yeah, those muffle. If they wouldn't have beaten that door down, they would have caught him. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just counting my blessings a little bit. Okay, they're gonna. And I can just come over here and repair this door. I don't know where they're going. I wish it showed a line where they were going. Like, it shows a line for, like, your people if they're going to go, like, do a task or something. Y usually. Uh, you're going to go haul some blocks. That's fine. That's pretty close to base if anything goes wrong. Okay, it's just, it's just a little pissed off. Oh, that, <laughs> this one's got a long ride. Well, that's wonderful. <clears throat> a painful bacterial s disease caused by exposure to rot stink gas. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay, you're going to bed. That's fine. What are you... N no, don't. Don't go outside. That would be a costly mistake there, diva. So you gotta sometimes babysit your freaking characters because they'll do some really ill-advised shit. Okay, you're asleep. You're under control. You're doing that. Olbar is doing that. Although he should probably go to sleep too. Yeah, he should go to sleep. What's he doing? He's gonna go to sleep now? Cool. I mean, I could probably get her a gun and she can maybe shoot some pot shots at some of these out from a, from a different doorway or something, but... 
would probably be ill-advised to have her just go out there un un unsupervised. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's give her what kind of. Uh, let's give her this um this bolt action rifle. How about that? She's not good at, at melee at all, so we're gonna have to get her some shooting skill eventually, anyhow. Hmm. Maybe this auto pistol would be better. Hmm. Actually, no. I changed my mind. This thing's bleeding out slowly but surely. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's see if my hubris pay off, pays off in dividends, or if it is well hubris <laughs> it's probably gonna be just hubris but you know sometimes you just gotta not beat the fire out you fool where are you go well that's annoying I'll let you beat that fire because that's inside at least but Hmm. Would prefer if this one was a little farther away before I try to step out to a pot shot at one of them. Boop! Right in the snoot! <laughs> oh, at least the ward's going away. It's like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> That's a sick fucking shot, Diva. It's pretty sweet. Where'd you hit him at? Um, in the rear right leg. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good place to hit. When they start moving slower. You can just kind of kite them around and make them look real foolish. There's hope with you yet, Diva. You can do some shooting. We're probably gonna turn all of this into psychite T. All this psychite that we have. Because we have somebody that actively uh, needs it. Let's man. Take the best stockpile. Okay. And then. <clears throat> We'll make these two shelves able to hold Psychite tea so that we can stock up on a bunch of it. Now back now back to the, sh the shooting gallery. <laughs> Let's wait until this one's a little farther away and then we'll probably shoot another shot at it. Still a little too close. It's like trying to get by those fucking guards in Ocarina of Time's, like, castle courtyard. <laughs> like, one's too close, one's just not close enough. <laughs> I mean, once this one collapses, which is probably not going to take much longer... Um, it'd be a little safer to hop out there and shoot these. Yes, sassy bastards just stumbling around. Oh, that's probably as good as time as any. Let's 
just kind of wandered. Just kind of wandering around now. Popping it out like right in the snooter. Maybe snooter is not a good word to use. That sounds a little that sounds a little suspect. Snooter that sounds like that sound that sounds like something a freaking high school bully would call you all they're trying to shove your head in the toilet you're such a snooter <laughs> right in the snooter <laughs> Jesus um, yeah, we could probably get another shot off on him Ooh, that was a good one Low, ooh, got him down. Shoot this, shoot the other one. All right, enough, enough of that. Move out of the way. That one will just finish bleeding out on its own. Now it's going to be a lot easier to to handle these. If I can hit, of course. Wait for it to kind of wander away again, and then we'll try to shoot at it again. Surprise! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Damn. Okay, one more shot, and we'll uh, call it good there. Man, that one went wide. Let's see. You're bleeding out in eight hours. Your moving is really slow. You probably could probably outrun this thing, honestly. All right, Mama Genevieve's already up, thrown up in the lab. <laughs> like there's science to do. Blah. <laughs> Where's this? Seriously. Now is not the time, thunderstorm. Now is not the time. Let's wait till it gets a little further out and we'll sh try to shoot at it again. It's a good shooting practice for, for D.Va here. Oh, got him. Well, Come on. It's a still target. There you go. Good job. Good job, Diva. You basically spent her whole entire night just fighting these muffalo. I am still worried about this warg, though, because... Oh, that, that's why. That's fucking why. These damn predators will fucking get you real quick if you're not careful. What are you doing? No, you're not haul you're not doing that right now. Let's see. Let's uh what, What's it doing? It's just wander. Is there just nothing on the map for it to eat? I find that highly unlikely. There's rabbits, there's squirrels, there's rats. It's just lazy. You're just lazy, Warg. Just Smilodon that's kind of hurt. Fuck you, Smilodon. Fucking punk ass cat. <laughs>
How about y'all just kind of hang out over here real quick? How's that? I'm trying to keep these these goobers busy so they don't just run outside and get killed by this freaking warg. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're liable to just do that. Without supervision, they'll just do shit that they probably shouldn't be. He's fine doing this. I built this specifically for him. He's just gonna run through here and deal with this. And now Huntsman's awake. I, I'm a bit more co confident. Just eat some fucking food. Leave the fire. The fire is fine. I don't care. Go eat some food. You fool. Oh hey, the warg decided I wanted to eat eat, eat that. Finally realized. Oh hey, there's food here. Okay, we don't have to worry about the warg anymore. That's also an excellent fucking game. It's like, okay, I gotta supervise this little bastard, or they're gonna fucking I don't know jump into a pile, a pool of lava, without <laughs> without supervision. It's like babysitting. Alright, well I still want to kill this warg. Heckin' back, welcome back, Cloudy. <laughs> We're going over the joys of predators trying to hunt my people again for like the 10,000th time. I think I am going to still try to have, um... These two have, a uh, Huntsman and Diva try to kill, um, this warg, maybe. At the very least, we can go get the, um, powers back for the outage fry- Ah, uh, Well. Sounds like you need some- need a surge protector, my friend. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm gonna just go ahead and have, head and have them haul these muffalo, because otherwise they're gonna keep trying to. And I'm gonna get frustrated over it happening over and over and over again. Cause they, they they'll just keep going. They don't care. Their their little their little stinky brains are just like, oh, it's time to go pick this up. Mmm, yummy. I love this. Alright, she's gonna go eat. Go eat in the dining room, you shit ass. Fuck. <laughs> okay, the warg should be pacified. It's time to get murdered, yes. Man, those buffalo give us a lot more meat in case we need some. Okay, what what's Diva doing? Oh, I, t I made her come here to get some food. She was going to just eat in the hallway. That would have made her upset because if they don't sit down and eat at a table, they will be up. They will have a mood drop. <clears throat> like, they will legitimately get like a minus three, eight without table, and they'll just be a little upset. <clears throat> Which is ridiculous. But it is like a meme about this game. It's like, oh, eight without table. That's like a war crime. <laughs> Alright, where's this work? We're gonna try to see if I can get them both to shoot at this uh, warg. <clears throat> oh, he hit something! Get back! Get back in the fucking! Get, ba get back in there. It's 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 mad. Well, it was mad. I think it's a little confused now.
Okay, I think this one's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna try to attack the door now. Uh, we might want to get her away from the, that door now. Him too. Okay, never mind. It, it's going somewhere. I don't know where it's going, but it's it's going somewhere. In the meantime, fix this door, friend. Alright. <laughs> I'm doing foolish things, but I really don't want this warg near my base, because it's problematic to have... Um, Predators there. Okay, and then once they're both, uh... I was gonna have them both step out, but that's probably a bad idea. Huntsman's weapon can shoot faster. So we'll probably have him step out and just get a nice volley off. This thing's movement's pretty slow. We can probably get another shot off. Oh, we can get a lot of shots off because it's dead. Nice. What other predators do I need to kill in this map? Well, the Smilodons are far away. Eh, you're a little far away now, too. So, I think for now, we're s our, our colonists should be safe from the predators. <clears throat> Yay! You're just he's just going for a walk. <laughs> he's like, that was fun. <laughs> Alrighty. I think I'm gonna move this wall in by one. It'll give me a little bit more space in the fridge and I can have like another shelf in each of these spots for supplies. Which would be nice. Okay, we're gonna need to rebuild this. Okay, let's go back to orders, deconstruct. We'll deconstruct these as well. Oh, we got a raid. Let's see what we, let's see who we got. Uh Oh, they're fucking robots. Oh, this is that's uh, gonna be fun. <laughs> well, I'd say we're uh, are 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 they attacking immediately? No, they're gonna prepare for a bit. Well, we have this charge rocket launcher. I don't know how good that's gonna be, but uh, this is about to get really. Really interesting, to say the very least. Because you got these pikemans, which have, I think they're fairly long range. Long range weapon used by me mechanoids. Named after its needle like projectiles, it fires single shots of great accuracy. Well, it does less damage than charge weapons. It can, it's kind of like a sniper shot. Not a very powerful one, but. It doesn't need to be age. 1,791 years. <laughs> Jeez. Raid Shadow Legends. Looks <laughs> like so you gotta place a whole monitor now, at least. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious. Alright, so. I have this uh <clears throat> I have this uh charge rocket launcher, which I guess is good against robots, but I don't really know. So we might have to try it out. I don't really know exactly 
what that's going to entail. <clears throat> but I'm suspecting we should probably have Huntsman with this, that thing. Because we want to make sure that whatever this hit is, is hits. I've not really fought off mechanoids in a long time, so it's going to be <clears throat> interesting. Uh, let's pop him, like, right here, and I want to kind of just see what this does. Because I don't know what it even really does. Uh, it's... You're good at melee. We probably want to give you, like, a club or something. Let's see, do we have any good ones? Not really. Let's see, we've got a steel club here. Uh, 6.27 uh, DPS. What about this awful steel mace? Okay, so. Um, Callie here, you're going to get um, this club. <laughs> Diva. I mean, you're probably fine with that. We're going to have you kind of... What is this fucking thing? A scorcher? I have a feeling I I have a feeling I know what that's gonna be. A close a close approach war mechanoid that specializes in the incendiary attacks. Its flame burst attack has little reach, but once it closes on a group of defenders, it can ignite and disrupt them with blasts of searing. Oh boy, I love the sound of that. Oh no. There's there's always so much you can really do. Unfortunately, when Tech decides it wants to just go belly up. Okay, so let's see. Olabar. He's got a gla fucking Gladius. Um, he's going to be like kind of last line of defense if those things get here. Uh, lady, you have an axe. Let's get you another club if I have one that's decent. Or at least usable, because I probably need to have uh, Genevieve make us some actual good weapons, because we got all this awful shit from just various, like, low-tier low raids. Uh, Callie's got that. Kind of put him here, I, put him here, I guess. Genevieve can't really fight, so she's going to just stay in here. <laughs> she's going to just stay in this room and research while the other people try to fight. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's really sad. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that's happening. <clears throat> All right, I want to see what this thing fucking does. It looks like I have to have a target for it. So perhaps I can um, put him down here, and when one of them gets close, I can try shooting at it with this and have him run away. I don't know how this works, or if it's going to even help. <laughs> so, when Diva's asleep. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to wake up there, little one. Lady's got her mace. What are you... <laughs> she was just thinking about attacking a wood door. I was like, what? Why? What are you doing? Hmm. Well, I might just have her down here. She's primarily a medic anyway. Because, I mean, she's got like 12 medical. Uh, let's grab her, have her grab some, uh, some herbal medicine in case she needs to fix someone up in, like, mid-combat because... Hmm. Tempted to have him go down and do a pot shot on these things. I just want to see what this does, but I guess we'll. S I guess we'll see. I'm 
I'm being a little foolhardy with my calling this, calling these fucking cook. Oh wait, does that does this have to be outside of my range? That's fucking weird. Well, let's have get him back to base then, because this isn't gonna really be super helpful in that case. I was hoping this thing would be useful, but I, I've got a feeling it's not. Cause I think they're just gonna. I think they're just coming after us now. Yeah. Oh, that thing's hung. Looks like it's about to be hungry too. So I kind of got out of there just the nick of time, probably. Hmm. Did they just shoot something? Oh, I think they're a little fried. Oh, well, that seemed like it actually did something good. Do it again. Oh no, nope, that was a, I was a, I guess that was a single target thing. But that might have that probably just saved our lives, honestly. So let's have him go back and get this gun now. I guess that, I didn't know that was a single target deal there, but yeah, it's fine. Hopefully these assholes have some technical difficulties soon. I might have him down uh, here to kind of get some shots off once they kind of round the corner. And then, uh, wh where is Lady? Oh, she's just hanging. She's, I told her to get medicine. Eat something real quick since we're kind of... Kind of waiting around anyway. For them to get here. She's gonna be back up for Huntsman in case he like needs rescued or something. On that note, let's put down a very uh, temporary kind of sleeping spot for medical emergency kind of stuff. Like not for not for long term use, but for in case something goes horribly wrong. All right. Where are they going is kind of what I want to know. I'm guessing they're going to come this way. But if they don't, we're going to be in a bit of strife. Where are you going? I think some of them got a little slowed down from me. Uh, yeah, one of them got hit pretty hard. So that one's a little slower. That one didn't get hit. That one got hit a little bit har hard too. And... So that should make them hopefully a little easier to handle because they'll be a little staggered. What is a tesserin? A medium range combat mechanoid. While it is fairly vulnerable to attacks, a tesserin sweeping beam grazer can pierce thick armor and even ignite shielded targets. Oh, jeez. Hopefully this one dies to our traps a little bit. Okay. Or let, let's see what happens. Oh, well, that one's dead. Where's the next, where's the next fucker at? I'm gonna, I might have to make this big, this fucking monstrosity bigger if I'm gonna get mechanoid raids, cause... As much fun as that was, maybe we should just let the traps handle the rest of these, because the traps seem to be doing pretty good. I wasn't expecting them to do that good, but hey, that's the power of Pine Saw. 
I mean, they're made of wood, so I guess that kind of counts. That, no, stop it. That's not an enemy. That's my stone cutter's table, <laughs> fucking Christ. That's rude, why are you like this? Okay, that one probably die here. That one's dead. Okay, that one's dead. We probably don't even have to really do anything at this point. We got enough traps and more enough wood to kind of just make up for it. They're all just hanging out in here like, uh, so how about them uh, mechanoids? <laughs> Alright, well, that was uh, underwhelming, but you know what? I'll take it. I'd rather be underwhelmed than overwhelmed, <laughs> I guess. Alright, back to work. Really need a better place for this stuff. Maybe I need to wall this chunk spot in so they stop destroying my workbench for it. Perhaps I need to make this hallway just wider. Have the entrance, like, be like up here and then go down and around so I can still have this. That's probably a good idea. Probably. Maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't usually get this far. Just having a, a post-raid fucking joint. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta light one up. How's D.Va doing with her um, psychite dependency? Let me try to do it to where she only does it every five days, because she doesn't need to do it every single day. Let me look at uh, a sign here. Uh, social, well, social drugs. Um, Psych IT is set to do every two days. Let's see. This thing here is for addictions. Use this drug to feed already established addiction needs. Even if disabled, some characters with specific traits or on not to breaks me. Use the drug anyway. Uh, we've got. I might need to make a specific drug policy just for for Diva. Like only for her. Uh, so let's let's do that. Uh, drug policy. We're gonna name it uh, Diva Drugs. <laughs> And she's allowed to have a psychite T for just, she can't get addicted to it, so she can just have it for recreation. That's fine by me. So, diva drugs. <laughs> What I do need to do though is get the psychic T actually created. <clears throat> Got a nice little bone baby deck, bone car. Mm. Royal tribute collector. Oh, well, that's nice. Y'all are a little late for the mechanoids. But whatever. These Royal Empire folks are like, it's like a weird mix of like, f like future tech and like Roman kind of like titles and stuff and names. Like Aspietes, that's like a thousand percent of fucking Roman name. <laughs> and they're just kind of hanging out here. If we had like slaves or prisoners. We could probably give them to them for royal favor, but mm, 
You can also give them gold, but I don't want to give them either because I don't. Well, I have some gold, but I don't have any prisoners, so eh, whatever. They're they're not gonna hurt anything by hanging out there. He's gonna consume a fine meal. Good for him. I'm gonna haul the revolver to there. Let's go and we're gonna start making some psychite tea for our good friend uh, Diva. I would prefer if you don't do that. You know, how about you have a nice psychic tea? How about you just have a tea? Just slurp it down. Give her your nice mood boost and keep your psychite ass happy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We, we got, like, basically unlimited wood at this point because of those rare thrombos. Great. Was it only one? That's at least interesting, because usually they come in pairs, and if you shoot one, both of them will be aggressive, and then you have a problem. But there's only one. Maybe we can fix all these up and lure it through all these traps and have them have it just die, because thrombos are worth are just very valuable creatures. Let's shrink this zone like. We might move this stuff out here. We might make a door he but here to kind of let things through a little easier. Yeah, we're gonna copy settings and paste them here. We're gonna close this off at some point soon anyway. So yeah, it's fine if Diva just like works on um This can also be storage for uh, mechanite corpses. Mechanoid corpses rather. It says there's no empty accessible spot. What? I gotta swear I just told it to be mechanoids. Uh, that totally should include that. Uh, prefer maybe? I don't know. I don't know why it won't will now let me do it, but uh, we'll just manually turn things off. I guess I don't know. Oh, allow allow large corpses wasn't uh, selected. Okay, that that's probably what the problem was. There we go. Yeah, it'd be smart to have a backup constructor, so I'm going to have Diva do a lot of this. Let's 
see a shirt. I think I got an extra door up here. <laughs> Just got like a bunch of extra doors. Admittedly, this one could have came in clutch earlier, but for now, we'll just kind of keep moving doors and stuff around. Donkey One is pregnant. Good for you, Donkey One. <laughs> Trade Caravan is leaving. Good for you. Thrombos, blah, 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 yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, me thinks we're gonna make this wider by as many blocks as I can get away with. Probably like down to here. Like let's let's do some plans. A nice thing about this game is that it has like this thing called plan that lets you just kinda you can put little dots. And there's also mods that um expand it too, like that let you do more dots. <laughs> so if we're gonna do that Door there, one, two, three, door there. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need to put on our thinking caps a little bit. If we do something like this, we could go down this way, over this way, and it'll be easier to kind of figure it out once this is all out of the way. Diva failed while constructing a wood spectrum. That's fine. Her construction skill is not super high up yet, so she still has fa a failure chance for building. But we have, we get so much wood from these things for absolutely free that it doesn't matter. Thrombo's just hanging out near our base, like, oh, hey, what, what's up, guys? It's like, ugh, really? <laughs> just need to figure out the proper spacing is three. There'll be a door, one, two, three. Actually, I think those proportions are exactly what I need. I've just got to kind of adapt this design to kind of fit over here. So we're going to build this bit right here. Okay, Olabar is... I should have known. I was like, where's Olabar? The answer is he's tr he's pruning the gar Garonlin tree. Where are there's did one of our dryads die? I it, maybe it got hunted. It's the only thing I can think of because I can't find it, and we had three, so maybe it got hunted by one of the. Various predators. Hard to say. All right, we got <laughs> 43 psychite T's, and we still got a lot of freaking. Um, we still got like a lot of those leaves too. Okay, she's gonna get back to doing this. A fault in an electrical conduit has caused a short circuit. All 3,085 wattage of energy, the connected batteries has been discharged, but any serious damage was prevented by the fuses. And that's why we have this fucking mod. Because those event le events like this that happen, like in this power conduit here, there was a, a like a weird sur a surge or something. And normally that can start a fire. But with that, these two things get need repaired, but you don't get a fire somewhere. So that's just that's that's pretty nice. I like that. 
And we generate so much power anyway, that it doesn't really matter, as long as we don't get caught in a weird, like, point. Like, at night, where we can't recover our power, because, yeah, that would be, that would be unfortunate. Dude's just cleaning everything. He's a clean machine. Kind of wish he would haul some of these blocks instead. Is that ne is that really necessary? Probably. He's like totally is. What is going on? What do you do? Oh, I, I still have her in here. Oh, I'm sorry, Genevieve. I forgot about you. <laughs> you want to go get some... You, know, She's like, dude, I, I need a fucking joint. <laughs> and Huntsman needs to cook some fucking food. He just hasn't been doing that. I don't... Do not consume the wild. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Did I, do, do you have like corpses set to? F yeah, no, we're not doing corpses. Sorry, hun. No, you're not gonna just eat a boar. Stop it. Drink some psych IT. Have fun. Eat a meal. Go to sleep. Sorry, I forgot about you. <laughs> It's like I it's like you, I left my dog in the car with but I didn't have the window down or the AC on. Uh I mean your intellectual is not bad, so I don't really mind if she kind of subs in there every so often, but I want her to get good at Why is this little critter not hauling anything? Is it because I don't have a uh, chunk set? Yeah, it's because I don't have chunk set to this. It's like, why are they not hauling any of this stuff? And the answer is, I made a mistake. That's usually the answer to a lot of these things. Is I fucked up. <laughs> this is a good amount of manpower, though. I don't know if I'm going to get too many more colonists than this. It's a pretty good amount of manpower. Kind of get rid of these trees that are kind of just here. Let me check my stuff just to make sure. All right, back to the game. Let's kind of get these trees out of the way and then. We'll start expanding this. <clears throat> They're all eaten. And these little friends here got a lot of uh got a lot of hay. We should probably give them a cooler to keep it nice and cold in here so their hay doesn't expire. And then they'll just have hay for the rest of their lives, because they already kind of do. Uh, I think that's temperature. Let's get an over-the-wall cooler. And put that right here. And whenever Genevieve can get to it, she'll get to it. Yeah, she, she's stoned as fuck. She's, let's make sure it's not gonna mess her. There's a, now, now because she's stoned, there's a chance she'll fail build, building something. <laughs> oh, I gotta, gotta, well, I'll just wait till she's, she'll, she'll just do it in the morning when she's not high. Okay, and then he's gonna, let's turn that off. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> that, that's right. 
The, the thing didn't even pop up. I heard it, but I heard it, but I didn't pop up. That's fine, though. Totally, totally fine by me. <laughs> Once we get this cleared out, we can start adapting this to be, uh... We can expand this out. And with these longer hallways like this, we might be able to have them, uh be able to get shot at a bit more effectively like kind of dip our heads in shoot at them for a while and if someone gets hurt we can have them step out and then they'd walk through all the traps and the like all right well So we're gonna need a door there. Let's carefully move things around. Uh, before that, let's build the stuff that I know is gonna be um, We're gonna know that we're gonna build stuff that we know is gonna need to be built anyway. Um, hmm. So that's definitely gonna be built. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we're gonna have a door here. door here uh, let's go ahead and rebuild our um, our stone cutter Ooh, electric stone cutter I didn't know that was a thing well, that could be fun. Let's we'll work on that after we get some our other stone cutter going. Uh, let's see where's the perfect. More wood for free, which is good because we used a good amount of it building traps, and we're gonna use a good more still building more traps. Okay, marble, granite, drop on floor, let's sit this down to like 13, so that's, so nearby chunks get taken, process, taken and processed, but not like ones that are like halfway across the map, because otherwise they will literally go all the way across the map to grab a freaking rock so they can turn into bricks, they, they'll absolutely do it. You have to you have to give them limits. Okay, all bars getting right on that. I kind of want you to do uh, the other one. I'd rather you do granite first. Hopefully, after he does this one, he'll switch over to granite. Or maybe if it was not set to w only one, whatever, it's fine. I don't normally have two constructors, so this is actually pretty sweet. Not really used to it. It's like a luxury. Marriage is on. Huntsman proposed marriage to Genevieve. Genevieve agreed and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days or quadrums, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Genevieve Minor will change her last name to Hawk. Well, that's sweet. Good for you. Um, let's hope that this wife doesn't die, too. 
<laughs> Fuck's sakes. Jen, we re reached 20 intellectual again. I think when your skill is that high, like, it uh, decays pretty um, rapidly. Back down to, like, 19. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, you've got, like, nothing to do. Um, what can I make you do? What, like, I, she's relaxing with a cup of freaking psyche. Mmm, yummy. Well, I can have you haul some more blocks. That sounds fun, right? <laughs> totally. The most fun I've ever had, just hauling b big chunks of stone everywhere. Like a fucking caveman. There we go. Enjoy. Inspired recruitment lady. Oh, well, that would have been nice to have earlier, I guess, but... I think this is a marriage spot. No, it's a party spot. Um, let's put down a marriage spot, wherever it may be. I don't really know. Uh, so maybe? No. Uh, structure, furniture. Hmm. Misc? Marriage spot. Yeah, right next to Lemur's tomb. That's not fucked up as at all. What are you doing? What are you fuckers doing? Why, why are y'all fighting? Uh, I, I gotta see what happened. Callie directly insulted Diva's grandparents. This drove Diva into a rage and she began a fight. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. If your colonists just don't get along, they'll literally just start fights with each other. Uh, let's see. It's a good thing she's high as fuck, so she's not really in... Oh, never mind, she is in a lot of pain. Um, well, that was rude. Unfortunately for her, he has a pretty good melee skill, so he just clubbed the shit out of her. <laughs> Actually, he didn't use a weapon, he just kind of punched her a bunch. Well, that happened. Lady, where are you at? How about you uh, rescue our friend Diva, the shop kid? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the marriage spot being right next to Lemur Sue is like, uh, marriage. <laughs> this, this room's really got a lot of uses, huh? <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Well, at the very least, uh, bruises don't... Pr prison camp? Nah. What are you up to? Oh, you're hauling more shit. Alright, that's fine. Well, that, that was entertaining. Need warm clothes. Olbar is visiting Lemur's grave. Toxic fallout. Fuck me running. All right, well. <clears throat> no one's going outside for a while. <laughs> Yay! It's a good thing we got a bunch of food, because we're not going to want to... Yeah. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last for anywhere between a few days to over a quadrum. Ugh, God. Alright, well... Actually, that's a lie. Um, Diva can go outside. Because D.Va is immune to toxic fallout, so that's actually pretty nice. So we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different. Let's go to zone here, and we're going to um. 
Make a manage areas, make a new zone. Uh, can I change the color? We have to like randomly. I want a green color for 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 obvious reasons. Toxic, to toxic. Fall out. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to a. Uh, let's, let's look at this. Let's show where all we have all where we have roofs at. Um. Because she's a nasty little creature. Uh, she is a, a waster. They're immune to toxic pollution, almost impervious to disease. Their toxin adaptive metabolism means they must consume some form of psychite, usually flake or yayu. Originally engineered to prevent re resettlement of post apocalyptic death worlds, <laughs> wasters are living area denial weapons. Waster pirates armed with toxic weapons are the bane of many frontier peoples, both on the rim worlds and in the depths of herb world hyperstructures. Yeah, they're 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 genetically engineered to just be be able to survive nasty temperature nasty conditions, which is great for us because that means we have someone that can still go. Or, oh no, that's probably gonna kill these little things. That's gonna make a. Uh, Huntsman really sad, but if they get sick, they might we might be able to bring them inside. Yeah, our plants are not going to be very happy about that either. So it's a good thing we have some food stocked up, and like a bunch of corpses and stuff. Because otherwise that could be bad. But let's go ahead and work on this uh this um loud area for toxic fallout. Um. We're not gonna connect this, cause yeah, that would be a bad idea. That that that, that would like randomly like walk over there for for God knows why. Okay, we'll just do this. Connect all these areas. We need to roof these areas so that we can like fight in them if necessary. Cause don't really know how long this is gonna last. So we're gonna have to make an effort to um, we're gonna have to, yeah we're gonna have to make an effort to get this all ceilinged over so that they can uh, exist. Of course, I could be blowing this way out of proportion, and maybe it won't even last that long, but I've had some pretty gnarly toxic fallout situations happen before where they just go on forever, it feels like. And then there's not much you can do, because the animals very quickly just leave the map, so if you don't have food, then you, you the only thing you really do is maybe move to another tile square, but that means leaving your base behind and then starting all over, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we have at least some f amount of food. But yeah, this is one of the many wonderful events that can just happen in this fucking game randomly. <laughs> Out of nowhere. It's just, it's wonderful. There's also um, a nuclear winter from, like, a big volcano erupting, which has a similar... Th God damn it, yeah, God damn it, Randy, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna just highlight all this stuff. Let's see what else. And here's probably smart as well, so we can do repairs. All right, so now we got all those areas assigned. Let's go to assign. Oh yeah, Diva got the shit kicked out of her pretty hard. Whew. That's pretty bad. Uh, I think it's schedule, yeah. Everyone but D.Va gets to go to the toxic fallout area. She can stay on just normal because she's immune to it anyway. But that should mean everyone else should be able to stay safe. Did he get bandaged up? No, not not at all. Um, how about you tend to the, the dude, even though he kind of... 
Who started it? Well, now they're joking with each other. <laughs> Who is... Who's murdered? Pock gun? Who are you? Some someone that doesn't exist on the map, I guess. Opinion of Diva chit chat. Cathartic fight. Weird. Fuckers are weird. Um Let's see, what was it? Oh, Callie's the one that started it. What a bastard. <laughs> the bisexual pessimist, of course. So yeah, Diva's gonna be recovering for a little bit. Cause she got like her fucking legs shit kicked out of. And her torso just bruised a bunch. So she's gonna be, um... Yeah, we should probably see the wildlife's gonna eventually start disappearing, so we might have- we might want to have, um... I mean, you can go out briefly in the toxic fallout, and it'll eventually dissipate. And I brought you mur- thank you. MURDER! <gasps> Silly. Nothing like a bit of toxic fallout to get your engine going, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, Huntsman, you're gonna go on a, a special cooking mission because I forgot to turn your stove back on. Missing one. Oh, well, we got some meat here. Let's uh, cook some. Let's cut up some of these critters. I was wondering why we didn't have any food, it's because we ran out of protein. These mufflos can give a good amount of meat, so I want to go try to kill at least another one or two of them. With Huntsman after I make some, like, food. He's gonna eat, and then he's gonna make some more. Diva's no longer in keep of walking. At the very least, they can sit here and talk to each keep each other company while they're healing their fucking bruises. Who's... Honey, you gotta, uh, you gotta eat. Uh, everyone else has just been, like, eating <laughs> first. Consume a meal, you, you little critter. You little fragile critter. She's very lucky, because she's been in some very, um, dangerous situations where she's managed to es escape with minor bruises because she's nimble. It gives her a... It gives her just 15% dodge chance, like flat dodge chance, which is pretty good. Alright, well, where's Huntsman at? He's cooking. I'll let him cook another, another set after this, and we're going to try to go after those muffalo. At least one of them. Because you can, like, manually force them out into areas like this, but I'm just, we're just going to be very careful. About, let's see. Are, what, let's see what animals are close, and we'll decide what we go after. I think these buffalo are probably a little closer, and this one is actually already dead, so we don't even have to hunt this one. That one's like rotting. This one's. You can see the animals are already starting to be affected by the toxic buildup. It's already like thirteen percent. Hello, Hug Dispenser. Hello, hello. We were playing Suffering Simulator, and uh, Randy Random decided to give me a toxic fallout, and uh, yeah, that's not fun. So we're gonna... You don't move very good. Okay, we're gonna very briefly put... Um... Huntsman on unrestricted so I can have him go haul this. Because that's perfect. That's perfectly good meat go just kind of going to waste otherwise. Because it's already dead, so it's not going to really get affected by the toxic fallout. 
And as long as you're quick, you don't really deal with too much of it anyway. Like, we got, like, a little bit of toxic buildup, but it'll go away pretty soon. I might have him go try to hunt something else, though, while it's on the map. Because pretty soon these creatures are going to leave, like, very quickly. Like, per very quickly once it starts getting more toxic for them. Which, on one hand, is good because all these fucking smile dons will go away. But on the other hand, it could be uh, pretty bad. Because then if you don't have any other way of getting food, you kind of stuck. So I might want to go drop a pot shot on... Have him grab the... I think we have a... Uh, I could have sworn we had a... Um, oh, it's right here. Uh, Hall. Is there anything we can harvest from this? I'm going to say probably no. Have him haul this and he's gonna equip it. Yeah, um. Yeah, like if you have toxic buildup and it just kind of sits around in your body for long, if you can just get cancer. Because, <laughs> yeah, they, just more fun things. Alright, you're gonna go. Try to get one of these mefalos. Muffalos. I was thinking of fucking Don't Starve. I think they're called beefalos in that game. The kind of, you know, like prey animal kind of deal like that. So let's see if we can get one of the, their attentions. Or maybe just kill it outright. I don't know. Oh, that one's fleeing now. How's your toxic buildup looking? 4.3? It's fine. I am going to kind of like... I think it's this one we heard. Yeah. No, uh, which... No, it's this one. Uh, we shot its rear left leg. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. <laughs> All right. Oh, you missed. What kind of huntsman are you if you're missing? Not a very good one, I guess. Now you're being obnoxious. And you're making me get some more toxic, more toxic buildup than I would have preferred to get. Let's get a little far away from these other ones and then try to shoot you once more. Because using long range weapons that shoot so tends to make them a lot safer to shoot at. Then there's a whole like missing thing. Hmm. Again, I've been out here a little longer than I would prefer this my character to be. If I can get another shot off on him, maybe I can have him bleed out. <laughs> Squeesh! Oh, God. Um, run, Huntsman. <laughs> the Muffalos are angry! <laughs> Those four are. Well, maybe I can get them to all come home and uh, get um, destroyed.
Works for me. I was only trying to kill one. <laughs> the one that I was shooting at is just kind of like back here like, ah, oh, flat. Time for your time for your 6 p.m. Um, sprite flattening. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be foolish, but let's shoot him. Yep, that was foolish. Let's just go inside. At the very least, if they're closer, they'll be easier to like go after. So we'll get them at least closer to the base. And have Huntsman kind of just go inside and not deal with this. Oh, Genevieve is thrown up. Of course she is. Alright, you are going to go on Toxic Fallout now so you don't go outside anymore. And these things will just kind of roam around and be upset. <laughs> Alright. Well, now that that shit's taken care of, we don't really have to worry about anyone else going outside. In 16 hours, this one will start bleeding, bleeding out, and we can go um, grab it, bring it inside, and uh, let it kind of recover from its toxic fallout stuff. And then kill it that way. <laughs> Where are they going? No idea where they're going, but they're yelling. Genevieve's pregnancy progressed from first to second trimester. Oh boy. Okay, those two are just kind of resting up. Um, frankly, since she's going to be more useful, because she's immune to toxic fallout, Olabar is going to preach health to her so she can recover faster, because that's one of the things he can do as a, as the thing, as like his, um, one of his powers as the abbot of Borbrin. So she'll just like magically just heal 25% faster now. Oh, well, they're done being manhunters, so... I think it's, yeah, it's sleeping, but it's still just, like, bleeding out from its rifle wound. And... Honk, shoo, me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, he's fully healed. He healed really fucking fast. Like really fast like I don't know how he healed that fast but he sure did all right so eight hours till you bleed out you're gonna just like lay there for a while aren't you I have a feeling it's in like rescue mode already. So let's go rescue it. And then we'll tend to it and let it kind of just hang out in here. Cause we got we got enough medicine where you can just kinda afford to do something like this.
until its uh, toxic fallout goes away. And then we can kill it. <laughs> I mean, that's a little brutal, but I mean... But our plants just still grow. Oh, I mean, some of them look like they have kind of died off. We're mostly just waiting for this thing's toxic buildup to be uh, not there anymore. Okay, they're researching at like light speed. Uh, Diva's still healing. She got beaten up pretty badly. No, just having a great time. Except for Diva. Where are you where are you going? He's just roaming around. Are these things get no, I guess these things are immune to toxic fault. That's frankly pretty awesome. I don't have to worry about them. They're just gonna continue existing and making us free wood. Cold snob. Well, anything we did were trying to grow is probably not going to be ha very happy now. Oh, it's negative. It's negative six outside, and there's just like poison shit flying from the, the fucking sky. <laughs> Haygrass has died because of a cold. Oh no! Oh no! Well, it's a good thing I kind of figured that was gonna happen anyway. Yeah, we know, whatever. Well, that's more than enough, like, Psychite to last, like, freaking, like, 160 days. <laughs> so there's almost no way we're not going to get more Psychite by that point. I'm gonna have two more shelves right here. More bone shelves. Copy the sentence over. Well, the buffalo is um, a bit more alive than I was expecting it to be. Oh dang, that thing has recovered pretty quick. It's great day. I don't think we hurt it very bad, just bled out over a while. Well, oh, geothermal power, that's nice. Um, let's see, what's next? What is a toxifier generator? Create toxifier generators which generate electricity but also spread pollution around themselves. Oh boy, that sounds wonderful. Um... I don't really care about that. Plate armor might be a good one to look into. So we can make some actual decent armor. Although if we did it machining, I think we can get flak armor, which is better overall. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that instead. Plus for a lot of good things, we need uh, machining. Anyway, so we make like our own guns and prosthetics and stuff like that. So 
Cool, cool, cool. Bear skin. It's like there's anything barely there. This port, this buffalo is like, I am so confused. What am I doing here? It's not tamed, it's just kind of hanging out. Well, that's a solution to our, um, a manhunter pack, huh? What do we got? Manhunting Meganura. What the fuck? Oh. It's Yen Mega. <laughs> Why are you here? It's Yen Mega. <laughs> well, how about we have you make a statue? Out of marble. Since you kind of don't have anything to really do. Because you can't go. The weather outside is frightful. You got these pissed off bugs. They're, pro they're probably immune to toxic fallout I would imagine. Why they sound like dinosaurs? I mean, I guess they kind of are from that time period. Maybe they just should sound like that. What are you? No. What are you doing, Olabar? No art. Bad. Bad Olabar. <laughs> Nilla Lily has joined the Bean Army. Thank you for the follow, Nilla Lily. We are getting pestered by not only some giant jargon flies, but my, one of my colonists is doing shit I don't want him to be doing. I mean, his art's not bad. But Lady's definitely the art person. No art and no art. Bad. Bad Olabar. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the vote. We got these big-ass dragonflies. Imagine shaming someone's art. <laughs> Olabar, your art fucking sucks. <laughs> Clean, clean this muffalo shit. <laughs> man, man just wants to create. Thank you for the raid, Nilla Lily. What were y'all playing today? We're just kind of hanging out here with good old RimWorld for now. Although I think in like an hour, probably an hour or so, I probably do be doing dinner with my roommate. And then after that, we'll be doing art. And then you can berate my art. Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking love that. The lasting legacy of my Tales of Symphonia Mania mode playthrough is that fucking raid notification. <laughs> well, we've recovered. We've recovered fairly well from our down, our um, bad situation we had la at the end of last stream. We now have six colonists instead of like three. Thank you for the raid, Jedi. What were y'all playing? Yo, nerd! What's up, nerd? Fucking nerd. <laughs> I hope your stream was wonderful today, Jedi. Thank you for stopping in. We're currently st stuck inside because there's like a toxic fallout and there's giant dragonflies that are angry at us outside of our base flying around. Divinity 2? Nice. Diva's fully healed. She's gonna he eat something, and... Uh, for now, I'm gonna have her on Toxic Fallout, because there's, uh, nasty critters... ...out there. What What are you doing? Where are you... Where are you going? <laughs> it was just kind of smacking on this door a little. It's like, fucking door! It's like aggressive, like... Violin music is great. Door must die. All doors must die, yep. Yeah, we're, we got a toxic fallout right now, so we can't really go outside for very long before without getting sick. And the hay rat, all the stuff we were growing is just dying rapidly, and yep. It's also, we also have a cold snap too, because we're just not ha we weren't just happy we weren't having enough fun as it was. Oh, <laughs> corn plant. The oh, the fall fallout's gone now. Well, that's nice. They usually last much much longer than that. 
So I'll count my blessings as they arrive. Check my discords to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. So far I'm not. Our, our, our fridge here is looking pretty good. We're gonna expand it once we expand our trap fucking monstrosity here as well. Because we got a mechanoid raid earlier and it used up a good amount of our traps so I want to uh, expand on that. Oh yeah, we, we Olabar wasn't able to prune his tree while the toxic fallout was going so it's lost a lot of its uh, connection. Alright, well let's wait for these angry dragonflies to do their to go away or something I don't know I don't know if they'd be affected by our ground traps so I don't really want to like try it well I guess we get to, I guess we have to find out <laughs> what a fucking idiot okay I guess they aren't immune to toxic buildup Hypothermic slowdown. Instead of trying to stay warm, the creature's body chemistry adapts to prevent internal freezing despite very low temperature. Bodily functions are slowed and capacities are reduced, but the cold doesn't, does no permanent damage. Some biologists call it a wakeful form of hibernation. Well, that's neat. Get fucking dunked on. Oh, we do. We did. Uh, Diva is alive and well and recruited on our team. We have... A good amount of tea for them, because tea is a lot easier to make than the, like, cr basically cocaine, and a lot less addictive, <laughs> so it's kind of what I went with. Did the other one step on a trap? T it, it sure did. Uh, it's just kind of flying around now like a weirdo. Huntsman's busy cooking. Now we just finished researching geothermal uh, generators, which is nice. That'd be a nice boost to our power. Although we haven't really had any problems with power because we have four solar uh, panels. Just constantly getting us juice. We got Donkey, and I think uh, Donkey One is pregnant again as well. Late stage pregnancy. Yay, Donkey! Dave, let's let's not do that. However, let us do this because if we can get if this thing's still mad, it'll come at us when it can like. Yeah, here it comes. Let me just kind of step in here. Why are you all... Why are you like this? No, stop. You, stop. Okay, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> They're fucking clown-ass critters. This thing's just gonna bleed to death over here. This one's just rotten now. Alright, well. Still got a cold snap, but other than that, everything's going pretty well, all things considered. Okay, we can go to this and unrestrict everyone, because the fallout's gone. I don't think rescuing this thing would be a good idea. You could finish it off. Let's hold this one to Splash Mountain. Everyone's favorite <laughs> tourist destination. Splash Mountain. Oh, the bodies are gone. Aww. Well, that's kind of the point <laughs> of Splash Mountain is to decay the bodies really quickly. You can see all the mechanoids that came at us earlier. There's like five of them. And Olbar's like, oh, my tree. My sweet, beloved tree. He's gonna be he's gonna be pruning that damn thing for like hours. I'm 
Let's try, let's just try to drag this thing out of the way, honestly. I don't really care if it dies. It says it's still Manhunter, but it's probably not going to be moving very far very soon. It's just, it's just wiggling. <laughs> Wiggle, wobble, wibble, wobble. <laughs> Alright, what are you up to? They're all hauling chunks. Millions of chunks. Millions of them. Spend the area so we can s store even more. Yeah, unfortunately for this muffalo, it's gonna just sit in here and starve to death, because, yeah, just ba bad luck. <laughs> Sometimes you just have bad luck and you get stuck in a, a room and s you gotta starve to death. It's for the good. It's for the good of the colony. I don't think we have anyone that could even tame it, even if I wanted to. Uh, animals one, animals zero, animals zero, animals one, two point four. It's probably the highest we have. Unfortunately for us, Lemur was good with the animals, but she is. Uh, well, I'd say, I wouldn't say she's no longer with us. This is where she is. And when uh, her husband Huntsman gets married to Genevieve, they're gonna get married right next to her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's where they're gonna get married, right here. No, I said if I could rename my uh my religion, I'd probably like call it, like cult of lemur or something like that, just cause that's her tomb. That's where we have our little sermons and shit. And they're just doing their research bullshit. You're s stressed. Why are you stressed? Insulted, minor pain, slept in the cold. Why, why did you sleep on the ground? That's your fault. That's a skill issue. <laughs> Feckin' skill issue. If I ever seen one. Yeah, unfortunately for her, she has tortured artists, so she's just permanently got a, like a minus eight mood penalty. It's, it's unfortunate, and there's not anything you can really necessarily do about it. But, yeah, it's fine. She's just on blood cleaning duty along with Callie. Earlier, they had a social fight, and she got the shit kicked out of her by Callie, because he's good at melee, and she is uh, not. <laughs> not in the slightest. How is y'all's build up? pretty high. I'm not going to be able to hunt them for a while. That's fine. We got plenty of meat and stuff still. Wait till his recreation gets up, and then we're gonna open these doors and let this muffalo out because it's not really gonna do us any good being in here. Oh well, it's uh, just eating some of our hay. <laughs> it ate some hay and then passed out. You know what? That's understandable. Back to what you were uh, doing, Olabar. Probably going to sleep. Yep. They sure are. Bunch of little snoozers. Okay, Huntsman is awake. Cooking up some more... Some more hot cuisine. Mr. Davy Crockett himself. Well, I was gonna make... I was gonna have some more Psychite to make more tea out of, but... The toxic fallout and the cold snap murdered all of it. Very uh, 
quickly. Wake up! <laughs> it's like, eh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's that's great. Um, how about you just uh, stay out here? Perhaps I can just shoot you from here. All right, cool. Later. It's like. Uh. God, this suck. Ooh, it's a pretty bad, pretty gnarly shot, honestly. <laughs> it's just like, fuck this place. I was stuck in this room for a while, and then they let me have some hay, and then they shot me. <laughs> this is horse shit. Yeah, I wanted the toxic fall to go away before I hunt it. Otherwise, the, the food, the meat is possibly a uh, ruin. Not want to be much fun. Not much fun at all. Okay, back to cooking, because we go through. Donkey is given birth! Which one? Another, m another male. Another male donkey. Consume. Honk shoe me me me. <laughs> yep, see bad seasonal temperature. Unfortunate. Let's see. Let's look at power and see what it takes to make one of these geothermal things. A lot of steel that I don't have. Yeah. Um, well, let's see what we got here. I can press L on those. L, 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 L. And I'll give uh, Lady plenty plenty to do even though she's still just trying to make the sculpture she didn't have time to finish the sculpture before the fallout went away oh yeah these things keep squirting out some wood okay Honestly, you know what? Just go, just go, just get all the way up to 100 at this point. Because we're not going to be growing much pretty soon anyway. What? Why are you stepping? Why are you walking around the traps, you fucking goober? Why are you like this? <laughs> why are you fucking like this? Uh, let's see. See, you go there. I'm probably just gonna build this here and then I'll just like move these blocks wherever I need them to go. get some more steel there we have some another big chunk of it here and some here too so we got loads of steel on the way up not fond of this 
in the slightest. So we're gonna just put walls there and not think about it. Um, those are, oh yeah, we need so much we need to do. Um, granite blocks, we need more of those. Will Diva do this? Not a sign to crafting. Maybe it was Genevieve I was thinking of. I know she'll do it. So after you're done playing playing billiards, go cut some blocks for us. So we got some walls we need to build. We need to build like walls down here and over here and keep things from getting at us. We might be ending this stream pretty soon, actually, because I think my roommate's up, so we'll all see what's going on and go from there. So give me one sec. All right, um, we're gonna be ending the stream now. We got um, me and my roommate are gonna do dinner stuff and just if I have to take care of anything around the house, I'm gonna do that. But probably around like 7.30, 8 o'clock, I'll be back and we'll do some art. So, raid hype, raid hype, raid hype. Yeah, I definitely plan to raid someone, uh, let me yeah, I, 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 I told you I was going to stream art on Saturday. I warned you. But uh, let me go ahead and I'll save and quit here. We, we made a lot of progress here today. Our colony grew and people and size. And it's only going to get better. Before I end though, I want to start building this wall down here. Art stream, art stream, art stream. Um, I'll see if I have a raid target, but if not, then I probably I probably trust you enough to accept a raid target. Probably. Yeah, you must. Most time you give me good folks. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll uh, save, quit to OS, and let me see what Twitch has for me. Let's see who's on. 
Let's see. Um, who's that? Who are you? Oh. Well, I have one person I could raid, but who are you going to raid? Suggest. Because I, I don't have a problem with suggestions for raiding folks, because they can introduce me to new folks. Smooth Tango. Let me mute my tab here and I'll look. them up. Let's take a gander. Ooh, seven days. You know what? I can I I, I can be convinced. I can be convinced. So on that note let me go ahead and we'll end this stream, but I will be back later tonight probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock with the art stream. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll raid into Smooth Tango. So let me go ahead and I'll end my stream and then we'll start the raid and I'll see y'all there and hopefully I can see y'all uh, later as well around like 7.30, 8 o'clock because I'll be doing some art and it's probably not going to be very good. But you know what? That's fine because... I'll kind of just do whatever, <laughs> but I'll be back later and I'll see y'all over at Smooth Tango stream. See you there.